Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Files Obscura podcast. This episode is brought to you by Anch- by the Anchor app. If you are like me and probably didn't know where to go to start a podcast or didn't know what to do, then you'll be very glad to hear that the Anchor app is free to download and gives you everything you need available on your phone or your laptop. And you will be given all the tools you'll need to edit, to play music in the background, to have live guests record your episodes with you, and so much more. Anchor also allows you to distribute your podcast anywhere that you want to be heard, such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and the list goes on. I know ourselves, so far, we have at least seven platforms. Um, And another great thing is that you're able to start making money for your podcast with absolutely no minimum listenership. So if you're interested in starting tomorrow, you can also start recording advertisements tomorrow if you were so interested. But everyone goes at their own pace. You know, all you need to know is that this is everything you need to make a podcast and so much more to help you along the way. It's user friendly and easy and easy to figure out, you know, as time goes on and you figure yourself out. So all you need to do is go download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Once again, that was A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. Hi, everyone. I'm Crystal, and I host the podcast Alternative Interests with my best friend, Elle. We're Washington natives that love true crime, the supernatural, and all things weird, dark, and spooky. Join us every week as we take turns sharing our own twists on the garbage humans that commit crimes or a paranormal story that we have been obsessing over. Whatever topic we cover, this show is sure to capture all of your alternative interests. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I am so glad you can join us for today's episode. We are going to have a little bit of a celebratory one because it is our six month special. I'm going to be honest, when we started I did not think we'd even make it this far because I'm the type of person that tends to quit these things. But I'm so glad I stuck it out and I'm so glad for the love you audience have shown us so far and I cannot wait to see where we continue going from here. Um, now I'll be honest, what we had originally planned two months ago, whenever we were starting to form this idea of of an episode, uh, we were originally going to have something completely different from what we're having today, but I think we can still have some fun because we're going to be talking about some internet mysteries. We're already starting to drink because it's time to have a party. So with me today, we got Vlad. Hello. And we got Gabby. Hi. You know, and today, we're, like I said, we're going to talk about some internet mysteries. We're going to talk about some personal experiences that we've, you know, had so far and uh, where we're going to go from here. Uh, so this is definitely not going to be formatted like most of our episodes, but I hope it's just as entertaining. With that being said, man, I like, it's been fun. Yeah. You know, honestly, the past six months, you know, doing this, I remember, fuck, what was it? Episode four or five whenever I was really like starting to think like this is not going to last this is not something that we're going to do if I remember correctly I think you started having doubts at around episode six six or seven because because in podcasting I learned early on there's something known as the 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 seven episode arc yeah where most people who start a podcast end by episode seven because either they have no drive their work life takes over they get discouraged because they're a low audience count Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah. And for me, that was like my first personal big thing. It was like, okay, I got past this milestone. That's a pretty big staple identifier for you know most people podcasting. And now I'm at six months. You know, and and other than one episode where we were one day late, we still got an episode out every week. And for me, that is a personal big accomplishment because I mean, you guys know I'm a fucking serial procrastinator. Yeah. I am very bad about that. You know, but uh, it's been fun, you know, and now that we have you, Gabby, on the show, it's, you know, you definitely bring, you know, a lot of energy that I've been, you know, needing for this show. Um, But you also aren't like overly obsessive. Like I was afraid with some other people that we were talking to in the past about possibly joining the show, but obviously they never did. Mm -hmm. Um it's and, ironic that I'm the energy for this show, but I'm the only one here who sleeps for 12 hours a day. That is true. That, that is, is true. very true. Well, I mean, all your energy has to go somewhere after you're done, so. Of course. Yeah. You know. It, it goes into my dreams. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where most of my energy goes. I go to sleep, I dream super hard, super vivid, and then I wake up tired. Yeah. It, well, I mean, isn't that like most people right now? You know, Probably, the ones who yeah. aren't on drugs, you know, to survive 2020? Are you kidding me? That's Dude. true. <laughs> Especially with the election around the corner, man. We got one month left. That's it. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's crazy. Get your you own done when you can. I, I, I really I'm... just now got my boyfriend to register to vote. Oh, God. It yeah. took him until now. He was like, I just don't have time. Like, nah, bitch, you like, got time for this one. You I, better make time for this right? one. Right? <laughs> Especially now. Like, we always say, you know, voting is important and stuff. It has never been more important than right fucking now. You know? We have the asshole in office who's been, you know, just not been doing anything good for us. He stole our milk. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, obviously, on a serious note, you know, just all the civil rights issues he's brought up, all the the uh, executive orders he's abused just to push any, you know, private or economic development that he thinks is good. Which honestly isn't because, um, well, this is not the podcast for it, but I've personally been looking into a lot more about economics and stuff like that just because I, I like to personally learn and, and know more and, and stuff like that. And just learning the economic side of, of Trump's tactics has just been, oh, monumental, monumentally devastating to us. And we're definitely going to be feeling this for years to come. But, you know, this isn't a political podcast, so I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. You know, this is, you know, a, a time to celebrate. You know, we got some bevs, we got some beers. I am personally an IPA man, so I went with Voodoo Ranger. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You can do that all you want. I'm going to enjoy it because I, I love the flavor. <laughs> uh, first, I guess I'm drinking a personal favor of mine, the Angry Orchard Hard Cider Crisp crisp Apple. All right. That is also one of my favorites, but I am drinking mead. Um, some... It's actually it's actually garbage. Uh <laughs> Like, I bought it, and I was I like, that's it. a cool bottle. It is a really cool bottle. Uh, it is a cool bottle. I, it's well, a honey and apple wine with hops added. And I, I just got to say, taking a sip out of it is like eating ass. And then, like, a couple seconds later, you get the aftertaste, and it's okay. So yeah. I, poured it, I poured a slight amount into a bottle of Angry Orchard, and it's actually okay. So... Yeah, mm. yeah, but we also did just buy it, so I don't know if it's one of those that really needs to be chilled for a long time. Eh, could, I don't know. I don't well, know. I mean, you really don't chill well, meat. It's, it's like, not supposed to be warm. I don't know. I don't drink meat. I'll be honest. So here's the thing. I actually really like meat, but meat... Me as well. Yeah. I actually have a friend that's down the road. He makes his own meat at home yeah. and other stuff. Well, the funny thing is, like, with meat, the flavor fluctuates so heavily. It does. Depending on, like, circumstances. So no two bottles of meat are the same. And that's what... It's so hard about getting people into mead. It, it, it's it's like it's like trying to recommend, um, I guess like a like a really good, I don't know, like a cop show or a soap opera. Like you could be like, yeah, like a good amount of them are crap, but there's some of them that are like very subversive and they kind of like they do something and it's like that's not even a soap opera anymore. That's a that's a straight up comedy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know what? Nickelodeon shows. There we go. You Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh is the greatest yeah. show of all time. It's a Nickelodeon. Sitcom, you know, classic. There we go. So this mead is it's, it's not Drake and Josh. <laughs> it's not Drake and Josh. No, this is that's definitely true. It's uh, I wish I could tell you guys the name, but it's not in English. Half the letters are literally runes. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, if I, it's from Denmark, just letting you know. Yeah. Cool. But <laughs> uh, but I guess my recommendation. This is not an alcohol podcast either. We're not no, 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 no. But we're, if we're not an alcohol podcast. But I guess if I had to give any recommendation on, on how to try mead, um, maybe there's a Renaissance Festival. All right. The Renaissance Festival mead is the cheapest mead you can get at the most expensive price. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Renaissance Festival has a, uh, a testing station, a little like booth, okay, where they can, they can give you free, free samples of the mead. And they give you like little cups, right? So if you want to try it out, try it out for free. At a Renaissance festival, with those little cups, because each one will taste different, but you will find one that you like more than the others. And if you go to Renaissance festival, that's where my friend goes to sell his mead, but he's out in the camping grounds, and it's hard to find him. So oh, I love the camping grounds. That's so, the best place. So much Still fun. never been. You... Look, we went once, okay? We went once, and it was the one day out of the whole year that I had off. Yeah, and it wound up what, being like the last weekend they were doing Renfest. Yeah, because the last weekend is the best weekend. Yeah. Fair, I'll give you that. It's I just, I, 
when you go the last weekend, you don't go for the Renaissance Fair. You go for the camping and you go for the drugs. The bonfire fair. I'll the give you that. Bonfire so oh my fun. god. Okay, so the other year when I went, the year before I took him, I went with a guy and his friends. This was a mistake. <laughs> One, they heard us doing it in our tent, which was not fun. <laughs> and then two, I'm shit faced. My boyfriend at the time was shit faced. And we go to the bonfire, like just to chill and dance by the fire, which was amazing and super romantic and cute. Mm -hmm. um, but when we get to the bonfire, there's fucking ambulances and fire trucks and cops, oh, and we shit. see his friend, my boyfriend at the time's friend, shoveling opiates out of some kid's mouth who had OD'd at the bonfire. Oh, like fuck. Like shoveling him, like two, three pills at a time coming out of this kid's throat. It was... Pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do Renfest, Renfest right, kids. There we go. So, oh, if you yeah, go to Renfest, no. go to the bonfire, get yourself a big turkey, and do maybe, a lot of drugs, and meet the guy with the wizard hat. <laughs> okay. My favorite silver. Be a little more specific. There's a lot of. Them. No, 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 no. You no, know wizard hat guy when you meet him. All right. Everybody who goes camping at Renfest has a wizard oh, hat wait, guy. Wait, I so know. there's it, a guy who walks around with like you know the Mickey's, uh, the Mickey Mouse sorcerer's from, apprentice uh, hat. What, what was it? And Fantasia. It's full of drugs. Not like. <laughs> Not like normal ones, like, oh, here's a little Adderall, kids. Now I'm talking, like, the big boys, it's all like, right? It's like the half And you Mary reach Potter. into this hat, and it's midnight, and it's cold, and you cannot see what's in this hat. Whatever you grab from that hat, that's what you get. You don't get a <laughs> second draw. So like Harry Potter, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, all right, Hermione, well, let's see what we got. What is this? Oh, it's a <laughs> LSD. Let's check some. Like, come on. So obviously it doesn't need to be said, but do not do drugs just because we say them. No, no, no. Yeah, no, don't do drugs. <laughs> no, please don't do drugs. I personally don't, don't do know. drugs. I talk about drugs. I don't do them. You, look, yeah, that, no, that's a real thing. You are the one person I know that talks more about drugs without doing them. I that's don't... Because, that's because when I was in high school, I told myself, I was like, I'm going to do every drug possible that I can find in my city. That way I never want to do them again. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't. I was lucky that I didn't get addicted to heroin because I did black tar heroin my senior year in high Jesus, school. Jesus, wow. And that was no, not I, look, fun. Dude, I was on meth for a good minute for a sec. So I, I did meth. I, can't I, did, say I shit. did dragon's breath. And that shit is... Scary. I wanted to do that for the longest no. time, but, no. but so dragon's breath is this flower, right? And it makes a pollen, and you breathe the pollen into somebody's face, and that person loses their brain. Literally, you go numb. You do anything that anybody tells you to do. Yeah, it's pretty it's bad. Scary. That's some like Lord of the Rings shit. It's it like, is. It, it's, it really is. It's mind control. Also, well, it's also known as scopolamine, which is uh, actually used in a lot of like uh, uh, anxiety patches. Mm -hmm. So a little thing that you can stick behind your ear. A lot of people in like third world countries in Central America, especially, will abuse this and, and uh, use it to drug uh, tourists and stuff like that. So, wow. yeah, it's scary because you also it, it, it gives you amnesia afterwards during your during your come down. So, I had to have somebody tell me what I did that night. Mm -hmm. So this sounds like something that like a magical lady in, in the woods would give you. It's like yeah. She'd give you in order to rob you. Yeah. In order to rob you. Like, she's f fucking gl uh, glandrial. <laughs> 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 fuck, you know, no, coming out of the woods with, you know, with her beautiful dress and everything, flowers everywhere. Mm, you want some drugs, kids? <laughs> yeah, so just, just to reiterate, don't do drugs. Don't. It's not worth your money. It's not nobody's worth your time. Giving, not nobody's worth your time. giving them to you for free. Yeah, you're going to hate yourself afterwards. You're going to yeah. be like, I kind of wish I didn't do that. I could have been home watching Netflix, you know, but now I'm... Plus acne. Nobody wants it. Oh, God, no. Nobody wants it. Every drug will give it to you. <laughs> they, will, they will all do it. Yeah. So, so if you want to say beautiful kids, don't do drugs. Yes. So there, there's there's no way to segue out of that. Obviously, mm -hmm. uh, we're we actually have uh, some drug episodes planned in the future. So we'll save more conversation about that for when those episodes come up. Cool. But today we're talking about the internet. You know, the internet is you know, you you can't even argue. It is fundamentally the one thing that changed everything this century. You know, yes, it technically happened the century before, but it really took its stranglehold in the early two thousands. You know, and, and 
of course, with something so, you know, big and life-changing and so new, especially, like, we only just now are really getting a, a handle on laws, you know, about internet usage and stuff and, you know, on our rights towards it. But, you know, before all this happened, you know, we had a massive wasteland of we don't know what to do with the internet. Anybody could do anything. So, undoubtedly, we had some mysteries that would come up that even to this day, a lot of them don't have clear answers. A lot of them, you know, are lost to obscurity because time just kind of washed over it, you know. And, and the culture of the internet has changed so much with every year, you know. There, there's all this other new and often misinformation that comes out about a lot of things. So, we'll, uh, undoubtedly, we'll, we won't get an answer to a lot of them. And that might be the case for some stories that we talk about now. Um, you know, there, there's all kinds of stories that we were looking at that ranged from cults to, you know, just bizarre, you know, anomalies that happened on the internet to, you know, viruses that would just destroy your computer. So, uh, Vlad and I, because our, like, originally the way that we had the, this episode planned was that we were going to have all four of our, audi- uh, of our hosts come on and each tell a story. However, so much happened last second that changed it. We're going to just talk about some of our favorite ones today, you know, and talk about some things yeah. that really caught our eye and, and uh, just really get into it, yeah. you know. And there's no way to start other than, you know, the one that I found that really profound me. Because uh, uh, I, I didn't tell you, any of you guys about this when I gave suggestions because I wanted to save it for me. Mm-hmm. But it's not necessarily like an internet mystery of someone making a strange or obscure post or there's this weird website. It, it, it actually deals with the internet itself and it's internet black holes you know if you guys don't know what this is uh it's the phenomenon found on on the internet where information that is sent you know over the net is sent in what's you know forms of packets and and these packets would fall into these black holes and then the the sender would never get a notification that the message didn't send the receiver would never get a notification that they failed to to get the information in this packet it would just disappear and uh, there's a variety of reasons that we know why it happens, but there's an interesting thing in the, in the statistics that I found that uh, even though we may know a lot of the causes behind why black hole, these internet black holes exist, they shouldn't exist in the amount that we see them. Like back in 2007, whenever there was a really big push to understand you know, what's happening here, uh, researchers were able to find that over 10% of the information on the whole net, you know, everything, it could be anything from banking to personal messaging, uh, you know, abstract artwork to, you know, uh, I don't know, a county website, information would just get lost over certain, you know, lines of communication. And these aren't lines of communication that are always consistent, you know, it, it, it's not like a, a government website you know, feeding to this one, you know, section that they have on their website every day and then they lose the information that way. These would be things that popped up randomly for a short amount of time and then be gone. And a lot of them, like I said, there's a variety of different reasons, like um, one being invalid addresses, you know, sending them to uh, web addresses where the sorting machine isn't addressed to and so the information would just get lost. Another one would be DDoS attacks that people found a way to abuse to create these internet black holes that just absorb information without letting any server know what's going on. And and there's a lot of technical, uh, uh, more more technical explanations for more minute cases, but I'm not a computer guy. You know, I I don't know all the technical jargon, but a lot of it had to do with, you know, routing services and even um, domain sites. they said that like a lot of it was just dealing with the fact that information just wasn't getting sent to the right place, but they don't exactly know why. Hmm. And and to this day, like it's still an ongoing thing. We actually have less of it now. I think it's like a little closer to six to seven percent uh, versus the over ten percent from two thousand seven. But that's still a lot of information. And think about how more connected the internet is now uh, than it was back in two thousand seven. Um, like a, a good example. Um, Around 2003, 2004, only 5% of the world had access to the internet. Now in 2020, we're getting closer to 60% of the world. And the percentage of these black holes don't decrease enough with our advancements with technology. So why are they still popping up? 
you know, we're constantly improving how, you know, these data sites are sending information, how they're identifying where uh, these packets of information are coming from, you know, rerouting them multiple ways. So even if one channel fails, you'll have other channels that should, in theory, send this information. But even these fall into these Internet black holes. And it just, like I said, I'm not the technical guy to understand this, but it's one of those things that's just like, how does information just disappear? Logically, if you got two con computers that are able to connect to each other, you can send information back and forth, and it shouldn't be an issue. If an issue came up, it should be pretty easy to identify why, you know. Mm. But like I said, overall, we don't know where this information is going. So is this like the equivalent of having somebody steal your, uh, your package from Amazon whenever it arrives home? Well, I, no. It's more like the equivalent of you get the notification through your email that, hey, your package arrived, and then it's just gone. It's just gone. Just they just disappeared. They Dematerialized, if you will. Think um, <laughs> Infinity War snap. Like, oh, it just, okay. just gone. All right. You don't know where it went. Nobody has an answer for you, even if you tracked it to the spot where it goes, and it just disappears. Mm. You know? Interesting. Yeah. Um, like, there was an instance uh, that happened, I believe, near uh, the English Channel, where they were able to, like, physically trace where the information was getting lost, and a bunch of like uh, uh, private security forces uh, like tech security forces actually physically went to this the physical spot where the information was just getting lost and there was nothing there wasn't like some s secret uh, boat that was housing an online server or something that was stealing information there wasn't uh, 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 any internet cables that were getting damaged there there wasn't Anything. It was literally just open water. Just void. Yeah, just that, that, exactly. And it was a black hole. Exactly. It was a black hole, and they they don't know what caused that one. Um, if I knew a little bit more about the actual case at hand, I'd be able to tell you more about the details. But long story short, it's like they they just went to the spot and found nothing. A complete anomaly. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and this is stuff still happening today. You know, everything from your bank information that you send when you buy online purchases to, you know, the photo you saw on Snapchat or whatever. Well, this should just reinforce the statement that the internet is not reliable. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, you get, we, get, we forget sometimes the internet is created by people. Yeah. 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 So, like, it's, it's still flawed. It's, it's flawed just like we are. We can't make the perfect thing because we're not perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a fucking pigeon with a little thing on its foot. It's, it's still, like, advanced, but... Mm -hmm still human yeah very human you know well i mean even more so you know there are things we don't know about the internet still that people can exploit that's kind of the nature of hackers they find things to exploit mm -hmm. you know maybe there's something intrinsic to the internet as a whole that we just don't understand even though we created it you know and it takes us understanding why these things are happening to to you know be able to solve it obviously but it, you know it, it just it it, it takes problems you got to be able to problem solve in a different way is what i'm trying to say you know and I'm, I'm not the guy to do that obviously you know what a good analogy would be what's up when you lose socks in your dryer you know what that's a fucking great example there we go i'm so glad you thought of that because i like i was trying to think of something close and i'm like it's it's on the tip of my tongue but i don't i don't know what the fuck to say it's like when you lose your socks in your dryer they yeah. just they're just, just gone. gone they come back as tupperware lids that don't fit anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, that one really got me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, long story short, there there are things such that we have named, such as Internet Black Holes, where information just goes. You know, it's not being stolen. It's not, well, for the well, most we part, hope it's, not, not, being, it's I, not being stolen. No, because in some card information is out there in the void. Well, no, in, in most situations, which we actually can determine an explanation, it, it's just a failure to send information and therefore a failure to send uh, a, a signal back to explain. You know, it just had. It, it, it's like a um, weird way to kind of say it, but it's like the, those scenes in movies where the car goes off the bridge that's broken. Yeah. It's just gone. It just goes because it has no way to come back, you know? So, I mean, that, that's the best I got. It's like Thor Ragnarok when they fell out of the... <laughs> I know where you're going Out of the already. rainbow bridge. Yeah. They yeah. went into Eagles. Satan's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's where all the information goes. It goes yep, it just goes, it just goes to Sakaar. Jeff Goldblum hoards it all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would buy that. I would. 
I absolutely would. Who knows what he gets up to in his free time? It's but birthday, do we even care? It's Jeff birthday. Goldblum. <laughs> I love that scene so much. Just it's, it's my, his orgy my boat. Old he had a fucking roommate, orgy boat. My yes, old he did. roommate Kelsey. You remember? Kelsey? I remember Kelsey. So my old roommate had a dream about me hitting on Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> <laughs> and not just hitting. We went further, but I'll leave that for another day. We'll let that be your imagination. You you hit and you got a home run. Yeah. Let's, let's go with pretty that. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, one, are we talking about current Jeff Goldblum or are we talking about Jurassic Park missing a leg splayed out on a table, Jeff Goldblum? Because uh, maybe. That is like I don't know. Prime maybe. Jeff Goldblum. Silver Fox, Jeff Goldblum ain't bad. I'm just saying. Mm, I don't know. I don't normally yeah. go for older men, uh, but. Mm. The, the only Silver Fox I'm going for is Gerard Butler. Gerard, if you're listening, come get me, daddy. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just all the. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Black holes or something in the internet? Something I mean, like yeah, but uh, long story short, I mean, that was one of the biggest, you know, mysteries that to this day, like, we, we still don't have an answer. And, and uh, it, it, like I said, it's not something like a, a strange post on a, a Facebook account or something. It's not some weird Reddit thread. It, it, like, this is the internet as a whole, as it functions. And we don't know. We don't know about this, you know? I mean, fuck, we got seven people in charge of the world that can reboot or kill the internet as we know it at any moment if they chose to. Yeah, they literally hold the physical keys to the internet. Let's go. Right? Well, they need a five out of seven uh, vote for to do anything, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even like these guys that we trust with the internet as we understand wait, it. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. You cannot use the word trust there. Most people don't even know it. Well, you kind of got to trust the internet as it is, regardless. Well, it's a, it's you don't have to trust it. You just have to use it. You kind of trust, trust it to use it. I don't trust it, but I still use it. So these seven people... You don't trust it. Fuck no. You still use it. I kind of have to. I mean, yeah. yeah. We honestly but, can't but avoid you, it. Nobody trusts the internet. Who trusts the I think, internet? I think no, it's funny. I don't trust the people on the internet. I, tr- <laughs> I can trust the internet. I don't trust the internet. Well, yeah, I think it's really funny. The internet at this point is a necessity. It's almost as useful as, well, a fucking oven. Yeah, pretty right. much. It, it, I mean, you know that's actually we, a funny uh, note that you said an oven? Because most places don't actually have ovens. Like, if you go to Japan and you want a house with an oven, you got to pay extra for that shit. Yeah. Like, in the United States, yes, it, it, ovens a are a given. They're in every house or yeah. apartment or shack. Wherever you go, you have an oven. Uh, but it's not a worldwide thing. So I guess it would be closer to a stovetop at this point. There you go, stove top. Everybody needs a stove top. It just or makes me laugh knowing that there's a smart fridge that in existence that you can buy now. There's can, lots of them. That's actually I know. popular. And same with coffee pots. Same with fucking ovens and stove tops. I'm not going to lie. I really do. Uh, me and my boyfriend, while I don't trust the internet, I am a slut for it. We want a smart home. And not just any smart home. I'm talking like text on your phone to turn on the lights kind of smart <laughs> home, right? And those fridges that you can like press a button and see everything in your fridge through the door, <laughs> I'm about that life. I, I don't f- care if the Chinese gun for me. Come get me. I, I want a smart house. I think that's the point where we're going to stop talking because fuck that. I am the <laughs> let's go in the woods 10 miles away from everyone. Nah, I'll do everything nah. by hand. Give me a wood burning stove. No. Rainwater belongs to the government. You can't do that. I don't give a shit. I, I, my dad has a friend who decided she wanted to go off the grid completely. So she built herself a water wheel, put it in the river. She got a notice from the government saying that she couldn't do that because that river belonged to the government. Also, it's illegal to collect rainwater in, in the United States. I just wanted you to know that. That's yeah. weird. It is. It is. But you know what? It's like Mother Nature gave us this. You know, why does the government own it? Eh. Welcome to literally every it's Native they American want you argument ever. to pay ever. for the stuff that they have. So if you're using the stuff that nature gives you, they're like, mm, how no, else no, are they no, supposed no. to suppress you? Taxes. How else are they supposed to oppress you? you the know? United States they, is fear. <laughs> That's why we're so great, quote unquote. Because everybody's <laughs> just too scared of us. Yeah. Even the people who live here. Well, it's not are even too that they're scared. too scared of us. It's that they're too ignorant to do anything about it. No, 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 You cannot tell me that any other country 
is not intelligent intelligent enough to know. Oh no, other countries they just they don't, don't have to, to worry about us. They don't have to worry about. They do us. have to worry about us. We have eighteen. 18 U.S. military bases on other countries. Nobody has a military base on United States soil. Because that's a fear tactic. Darling, we have 8,000 military bases. Yeah, on our soil. I'm talking no, no, about no. 18 no, I'm, eight, we on have, foreign soil. No, we have 8,000 on foreign soil. We have, t- we have campments. I'm talking about actual physical military bases. Yes. I'm telling you, it's a lot more than 18. It's a lot more than 18. I did a report on this. So okay. That... 18 physical solidified military bases. We do have encampments everywhere. But physical military bases, 18. I just want to be able to turn on the mood lighting whenever I talk to Alexa. Yeah. I want to go into my room and be like, hey, Alexa, make it sexy. And then like... Make it sexy. <laughs> Pink lighting. The music turns on. Dude. Your electric fireplace roars look, to life. Look, I mean, We have the technology. We, we can do. make it. We can make it happen. I'm you know say what? This. It's actually not as expensive as you think it is. With my mother loving Alexa and the Google portal at home, every time she goes, I fucking unplug those bitches. I unplug them. I don't care. See, I just love the story of the guy that drove around rich neighborhoods with a megaphone on his car going, Alexa, turn off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> and turning off people's lights. Like, I didn't know that. It's that so funny. funny. There's this guy on TikTok <laughs> that just goes around neighborhoods and does that. That is Jesus really It's right, hilarious. Funny. That's awesome. Oh, God. I do like the idea of what... And uh, you know what? I'm actually... You don't think about it too, uh, you don't think about how fun it is until you actually try it. Uh, I have a friend of mine who has one, and they're like, yeah, you can play music with it. And I'm like, really? Alexa, play Yellow Submarine. And it, it's, it's... Oh, God. Just just imagine how many fucking Alexas you just turned on. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so funny. Here's the beautiful thing about that. that, too. You're not just turning on Alexas now. You're turning it on in two years from now whenever somebody else picks this episode. You're picking it fucking next week when somebody's playing this episode, right when it comes out or whatever. You can actually set a timer for Alexa. Like, in secret, next time you go to your friend's house, just like, in this many hours, play this song. And it will. So just randomly in the middle of the night, you could just play, like, the song that never ends on YouTube. Just a 10 hour compilation of the uh, ends. As horrifying as that is, because that's stuff of my literal nightmares, uh, nothing's going to beat the next thing that we got to talk about today. The fucking weird ass, uh, what was it, the Ascensionist cults in the well, video game? Oh yeah, we're, talking, we're talking about Kanye, 20, no, Kanye Quest 3030. Yeah, it's the weirdest fucking thing, too, because this is something you and I both kind of discovered independently long before this. I'm actually not opposed to just talking about this together. And like, like, go ahead. Like, right. absolutely. Yeah, so Kanye Quest, uh, it was kind of like a, I guess you call it like a, a what's the name, Mother, like a, sort of a Earthbound kind of a RPG. I'll be honest, I never played Earthbound. Never played Earthbound? Me never neither. played Earthbound. Me neither, but I think it's so seeped into people's memories. It's at this, like, or like what we know about Nintendo consoles. Literally, my first interaction with them was fucking Smash Brothers Brawl. Mm-hmm. Daniel would know. Yeah, Daniel would know, for Daniel sure. Daniel would know. For you guys that don't know, Daniel is my boyfriend. He works for GameStop. He's amazing. He knows everything you could ever want to know about video games, and honestly, I can't get him to stop. And for some about fucking it. reason, God also blessed him with an amazing voice. Oh, yes. He sings Queen perfectly. It pisses me off. Perfectly. It pisses me off because I wish I had that voice. I envy it. Everybody wishes they had that voice. Oh, that Freddie God. Mercury twang, the little growl every once in a while. Yes. Ugh. Oh. But God, uh, Kanye Quest is a meme. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's also it is also a video game, um, but it's primarily a meme. The here's the funny thing: from what I hear, it was actually not a bad game. Like it, it was pretty good. It was critically acclaimed. It was also a meme, but uh, it came out in 2013. Uh, the idea is that you play as Kanye, uh, Kanye West, of course, uh, and you're 
was the do you get teleported to the future? I know there's a clone of like Tupac there somewhere. It's a young. It, it's not even just that. It's it's a shitload of rappers. It's shit. Yeah, yeah. It's basically Pokemon, but with rappers. Yeah, you can have like a party of rappers that follow you so around. It's so stupid. And you, and you fight evil clones of rappers. You're in the future, and all sorts of crazy shit happens. It's amazing. It's, you said this was from 2013. Yes. 2013. Okay, this explains why I would know nothing of it. <laughs> I am a zillennial. I am in between the point of millennium and. Gen Z. Uh, in 2013, I was maybe a sophomore in high school and had zero connection to the internet. Yeah, I think Cece's the only one who's younger than you. Really? Is she actually? I, yeah, I think she's like a year or two younger than you. That's crazy. So what's she, like 19, But yeah, uh, something like something Yeah, like 2013 that. is about the time that I made my Facebook page. And That's when I graduated high school. Facebook and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Facebook and Wizards 101 were the only things I was doing. You that and year. fucking Wizards 101. Man. I love it, goddamn it! I know, but we're I not... played the beta. I paid for the beta of that game to be the first one. I will never let it die. See, I was yes, more, I was but a... that's not the video game we're talking about. I was more I of know. a pop trop. <laughs> I was more of a pop tropic. Pop tropic was the best. That was the shit. Was, I loved Pop Tropic. It was really fun. I feel so out of the loop because I didn't play any of those fucking games. I played RuneScape for maybe fucking six weeks and that was it. But I wasn't allowed to play video games. So that was the thing, right? I had no consoles. The Game Boy Advance Purple that I got, which now goes for like two, three thousand dollars if yes. you sell it on eBay. My mom threw it away. <laughs> I don't, not even gave it back to GameStop for money. No, she threw it away. I was not allowed to play video games as a kid. But I was allowed to steal my dad's computer once a week. So I would download Wizards 101, get on it, and then delete it from the computer. Because that's how you do it. Because that's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think what's really funny is that, like, as I get older, I sort of realize, oh, man, Minecraft is almost 11 years old. What's going on? Uh, I played that when it came out, like very, very early on. See, that's how I feel about Wizards 101, except it's not popular like Minecraft. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I still play it from time to time. So it's like, wow, this game really hasn't aged that much. It's still, it's still good. Wait, we're talking about Pioneer Quest. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we're talking. I was like, waiting for that. I was actually, I was actually counting in my head. I was like, how long can he go before he realizes we deviated? It's like I go over every single video game I played when I was a kid, and, and then eventually I'm like. Oh yeah, we're actually doing something right now. Yeah, yeah this episode. Look, we're since drinking. It's a special, it might as well. Uh, yeah, be no, two I, I long definitely, episode. absolutely said this I, I, is not going to be normal. I would just like to, <laughs> it's I, definitely going to be a longer yeah. episode than normal. I would just sure. like to say, if you look up Kanye Quest 3030 on YouTube, you're going to find somebody with a way, way more documented approach to this story. Than oh, you'll find uh, quite a few people, especially uh, Next Door Mama Max. Both did videos on it, I believe. Yeah. So if you came here to be informed. This is not the. This is this not, is the, not one. the place. This is, this is where we come. This to is it. just for fun. We we know we've been doing this for six months. We needed a fun episode. Yeah. I just want to let you guys know that if you type Kanye Quest into Google, it will immediately come up as Kanye Quest thirty thirty. Thirty thirty baby. Thirty thirty. Thirty thirty. Like immediately. Oh my god. And this is bad, guys. This is the pictures. What the heck am I looking they at? They don't even make sense. By the way, Kanye looks really young. I don't. I, they should have given him a beard. Uh, anyway. What, did they take a picture from him from uh, graduation? No, or? no, 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 no. I mean, literally, the, the picture they have of Kanye in the Oh, game, yeah, no. It, just, it honestly doesn't even look like it's him. It's a hashtag on Twitter? <laughs> what? It's it a hashtag on Twitter. Wow. Let's, let's see what the heck this is. <laughs> so while you look for the good ones... Continue with the, your explanation. Oh yeah, so uh, Kanye Quest, Kanye Quest. Did, uh, there, he he wakes up in the future. The year is thirty thirty, right? And uh, I think he finds, dude, the plot of this game. I don't know. He finds a clone of Tupac, young clone Tupac. You know, because um, I I you know whatever I believe it. Um, <laughs> anyways uh, <laughs> well I, I'm like knowing where the story's going I'm thinking more about the weird shit that we're about to talk about and there's um he, I believe he, there's like some kind of resistance group or something I mean long story short the plot of the game doesn't necessarily matter it doesn't compared matter to, what, to where, what comes next but I, mean, I, I gotta bring up this resistance group because I believe at some point one of the members of the group uh, asked you a question and I think the how does the question go? It's something like, hey, uh, oh yeah, what do you want to do? It is literally, what do you want to do? This is a task force member, and you can actually answer with anything you want. 
You can type in any any phrase you want. Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't give you uh, uh, selected options. It doesn't give you multiple choice. It just leaves a prop open for you to type into the thing. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure most people, like, when we're playing the game, type in something stupid, like, you know. Yeah, but, but uh, long story short, it, it's looking for a keyword for something very specific. Yeah. Well, if you type anything else, it's just going to be like, oh, I like doing that, too. You know? Mm -hmm. So you could type in uh, eating nachos, and it's like, oh, I like eating nachos, too. Yeah. But if you type in the word... <laughs> <laughs> okay, just for you guys to know, I put up my finger real quick because I found something. There is only one five star review for this game online. <laughs> what? what is the review? What is the review? Well, okay, I mean, it's it's not like a great review, but there's only one five star review. Okay. It goes immediately into four stars. So, it, from user, what, Kafia Farah? It says, I think Tupac is legit stuck in this game. How do we get him out? <laughs> Nonetheless, great game, massive character development. Hi massive character development? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to play this game now. <laughs> I think you still can. Hold on. Yes, you can. You, you can you... still play this I game. Download. I don't think you can download from the direct source. No, you got to You no, got to no. find it through like a separate place. Yeah, there, and be there's... careful when you're on the internet, kids, because viruses are real. Yeah. Torrent sites, as useful as they can be, will still fuck up your computer. By the way... Um, Take it from somebody who accidentally downloaded League of Legends from an offshore site. Not a good idea! <laughs> Oh, 3D Pac-Man game ruined my dad's computer. I'm really oh, sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. So uh, you type in the words ascend. Yes. And that's what? the start of it. There's like, what, 13 to 15 different modules that you got to type what, stuff what's into? What's going on, Gabby? What, what's up, Gabby? What'd you find? KanyeQuest.com. You can still download the game. No shit. I'm oh. on KanyeQuest.com. She literally oh. pulled it up on her phone. You can play it on desktop. Yeah, well, you know what? I think you can play it. You know, we might have a fun episode with that in the future. Or uh, mm -hmm. extra content, because I know we are going to be doing that at some point. That might be something fun to do. Yeah, but, uh, we should definitely stream those. <laughs> but, uh, but the bulk of the information of the story, you know, uh, this is really tied to a lot of, like, online, you know, not necessarily conspiracy, but more like cultish activity and shit, man. Like, it, it gets crazy, because... Yeah. You can watch all kinds of videos online of people who went through the whole essays and, and, and you know, did the extra research. Like I said, Nexpo and Mama Max, they did both great mm -hmm. videos on it. Um, I personally am a big fan of Nexpo, so he's the one I usually watch. Yeah. Um, and I remember him whenever he was going through these uh, videos uh, or, or through these clips of the videos that he was recording. Um, like, there's a lot of modules that require certain passcodes that I believe at the time whenever it came out, like, it needed a... Uh, uh, I'm blanking. I'm drinking, oh, so I'm code blanking, word. man. Code, like, like, yeah, code words, but uh, like, like, it was stuff that, like, like ARG stuff that happened off the thing. Yes. So, so what, uh, what basically happens is you type the word ascend. Yeah. Uh, whenever they ask you, you know, what do you like, what do you like to do, and um, and you you have a, I guess, a moment of clarity or something because the like the screen flashes and you disappear, and before you know it, you're inside this m m weird temple thing. Which kind of, uh, like, which if you look at it from up top, it looks like a pyramid. Um, and you turn into a butterfly. You hear weird noises, and there's like a gong sound and mumbling or some shit. It's really weird and creepy. Uh, but I, I think you walk around, there's all these little prompts that, you, that uh, ask questions. And I think you can, you can answer it. You have to type in answers. Yeah, um, but like each one needs like a specific code word to, to move on to the next part of the fucking B plot, if you will. Yeah, so you keep going and keep going. You keep typing it, typing it in and... And there's uh, also like a bunch of like I want to say like computer terminals with weird like cryptic, ah, fucking like, just like gibberish. Questions. Like like some of them don't even make any amount of sense. Yeah. Some of them are like nonsense questions and just non sequiturs, and it's just the whole thing is just bizarre. But uh, there is a hidden ending. Yeah. To, to this game, apparently, and uh, I think you. What is it? Is that like a... I want to say it's like an oven or a microwave or something. There's a, a weird... Or a terminal. I think it's a computer terminal. Um, and it asks you for information. Like, of course it, it does. It's going to ask you, like, for your address. And it's going to ask you for, like, your phone number. And all this very private information, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, though. Somebody actually did it. Somebody typed in all their private information. Their real, legit private information. And yep. the thing asks you to wait for, like... 
it was two weeks. I think it's two weeks. I you're asking the wrong guy. I don't know. I, I don't like. I'm looking at it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, it asks you for like it's gonna be like ah oh, we'll call you back in like two weeks after you type in all your personal information. You know what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. Well, Straight nothing up. happens now. When the game launched, we don't really have any information about that time. You know, we don't know if something major did happen. That was a big point that Nexpo made, you know, at the time. Uh, I know Murph would sing a lot. Like, honestly, go watch his episode on it's it. It's so much better. It's so informative. Yeah. Because he's not drinking like we are. Yeah. But, uh, basically, there's this uh, whole... So, in the, in the teaser for the game... Um, <laughs> They fucking tease this uh, ascent cult at the very end. Yeah. For a brief second, you see the eye with the triangle in the middle, in the mm-hmm. middle, and it's like, ooh, spooky. It's a, it's a yeah. cult. Um, and you look into it, and yeah, it's it's ascend, the ascensionism um, cult. Yeah. Um. So, this is. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. This. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, it is absolutely so. Obvious, because it's the whole thing. Just it, it's like okay, they use a bunch of uh, throughout the whole. Um, I guess all the all the secret links and stuff are all in little uh, QR codes, right? So they they use the oldest trick in the book, which is QR codes that link you to spooky websites. Yeah, with weird imagery and complete nonsense. Um, and these QR codes are everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. They're um, they're even they're so obvious too. They're not even hidden. But they really want you to find it. And I think that's very, like, very clear. Um, they had a Twitter account, too, uh, called um, at Ascend Today. I don't think... I'm going to look it up right now, actually. Let me look it up. Yeah, that, that would be... You know, now's the time to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got I, the laptop up and everything. Exactly. Let's, let's see. Um, at, but, yeah, I mean, like, like just so while you're looking that up... Um, like, uh, there, I remember watching my videos and even, like... Like the few times I read in like uh, Reddit comments about the everything like that, it's like there was a bunch of people who was trying to like see how far this would go into like the whole ascensionism cult that's related to it, and, and some people would you know earlier on like because it did come out in 2013, uh, like earlier on a lot of people got more responses, but you know these people were very like seclus like you know reclusive, very private, you know, so obviously a lot of the information doesn't get out. But uh, it, it's just wild to think that this, of all things, is tied to a cult that, you know, basically, you know, they believe that, you know, uh, I'm going I'm to be the guy to butcher this, I know it. But long story short, like, like um, they believe in, in ascension, is, you know, like, like we naturally desire to ascend and stuff like that. And, uh, and one of the core tenets that they believe is, is stuff like um, anything bad that happens to you in your current life is something you asked for in a past life and shit like that. And it's just like, what the fuck? I'm sorry? So, the thing is, I was looking her up on Twitter. Um, I believe the original account doesn't exist anymore. But, <laughs> if you do look it up, if you look up Ascensionism, uh, Ascensionism, there's an archive. And I think it, it links to a bunch of media files. Um, I'm not going to click on it, obviously. Yeah. But, it's supposedly an archive um, that has all the Twitters, you know, Twitter tweets, whatever the fuck. Um, and then uh, on your who to follow, it's immediately going to link you to a bunch of other accounts with names like Ascend Requiem, Ascend Senses, Ascend Sigil, Ascend Disciple. Um, my theory is that these are different people, uh, possibly, or it could be one person making a bunch of alt accounts. I mean, technically, yes, it, it is possible, like, but. From what I've just looked up, so the guy that created this game. His tag name is Phoenix, spelled with an E, P-H-E-N-I-X, Phoenix. So, Phoenix? Phoenix. Yeah, but I'm sure he meant Phoenix. I know, I know. But anyways, I kind of looked up the guy that made it, right? Just, just a little bit. And there is a guy on this website called Kotaku.com. <gasps> I love Kotaku. God damn, they're so good. And... He actually, he actually has some pretty interesting details. Like? I mean, the first part of this is just like a gameplay overview, right? Like, yeah. it tells you what goes on. Like, your basic gamer article. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, tells yeah, you yeah. how to play it. 
And he says, just roll with it for a second here, all right? <laughs> and I love that line. I love that line. That's really good. <laughs> and it tells you that, like, about the ascension stuff, right? Yeah. He said, at first glance, it seems like gibberish, but it's not. I realized that it said, ascend and worship the based god. And the based god is a noun. All of those words are capitalized. The weirdest thing is you say base, and the only thing that comes to mind is Thanksgiving right now, where we're basing the turkey. And I don't this know why is, it's so out of there, but just it's fucking... This is a pretty interesting article, I'm not going to lie. So if you guys are super interested about it, go to co- kotaku.com, because this is this is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I just mean, to read. There, there, there's other threads you can find on other sites that can give you more information about this, too. So, I mean, like, it, it, it's... It's just one of those rabbit holes that you can really get lost in real quick. No kidding, because I think I just did. <laughs> yeah, and you are you did it in what, fucking ten minutes? <laughs> well, yeah, but like I said, I'm a zillennial, so... I know. Zillennial. We... I hate that you well, use that Well, okay, now. because I don't know what else to call myself. A I was zoomer? Born... No, a no, zoomer. I know. No, I know, because you're right in that fucking happy medium. I was born in 1998. I cannot tell... Consider myself a millennial, even though I share traits more with millennials than I do with Gen Z. Oh, for some no. reason, they consider me Gen Z. And no, I no, no, not. because most of the most of the benchmark for millennial is the nine eleven. That's the cutoff. Unfortunately, due to the past two years with having TikTok on the internet. Oh yeah, no, that's what killed you. That's what come what... to a consensus through TikTok. That 1996 is the cutoff date for millennials. And I am not... Wait, 1996 is the cutoff date? 1996 is the cutoff. That's the year year I was born. So you're still a millennial. Fuck yeah. You know what? Fuck you guys. (laughs) It's okay. You are still my little brother and nobody can get I am three times your size. But you act like a kindergartner! (laughs) Am I not more fun that way? Would you rather have boring, mature me? No. There you go. There you go. But I'm still the big sister. So anyways. This is debatable. <laughs> we'll continue. But anyways, they cut off the year for millennials at 1996. So anybody born 1997 and forward are Gen Z. Okay. Which makes me Gen Z. I don't consider myself Gen Z. A, because Avril Lavigne. And B... <laughs> <laughs> and B, because I was simp for Brendan Urie. I mean, yes, those are both very good benchmarks. Um, so I consider because, myself a millennial. I would too, because I do the exact same thing. But now I can't, because I'm physically over the border. So I call myself a zillennial, because that is what I am. I that is the closest Gen you can Z get. Gen Z that acts like a millennial. That's, I mean, look, that's, that's the closest you can get, and that's fine. For me, like I just I consider it more of your personality over you know when you were born. See, that's what I'd like to think, right? And if you had looked it up two, three years ago, what generation you were in, Wikipedia itself would say that anywhere from I think it was 1986 to 1990 uh, something 99. Yeah, was the millennial generation. But now it doesn't consider that the millennial generation. If you look it up now, it says 1996 definitively. Look, I'm going to say this right now. It's probably going to change another one or two, five more times before, you know, we get to being 40, 50 years old. Because at this point, the Gen Gen Z generation is at its end, right? There's going to be a next generation because technology is evolving so fast that our generations have become, instead of being about 25 to 30 years long, like the boomers... Their generation was almost 35 years long. That's how they considered the generation for the boomers because that's how long people were having five to six children at a time. And that's why we call them boomers because of the baby boom. Yeah. Well, here, and here, after that was Gen, uh, yeah. what was Gen it? X. Yes. Which is our parents pretty much, mostly. My, my parents are technically Gen X, but like on the cusp. Yeah. Because um, they're, they're about 60 now. Mm-hmm. I mean, long story but, short, uh, I mean like... It's a weird thing because because it's really just a social construct. It's like vegetables. It is a social construct, but it's an agreed upon social construct. Like vegetables. No. 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 no think about. It, think about. It. No. No. Because mm. no, I, I read this tangent and I'm all for it now. Vegetables are objectively a social construct. 
because they serve no other purpose purpose than to be a culinary definition that is agreed upon by the public. They have no actual meaning past that. No, there's a no, there's, no, 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 no. There's a definitive definition of no, no, no. fruits and vegetables. Yes, but it only applies to culinary matters. That's it. That's the only time it matters. Vegetables don't have any place in biology. You don't use vegetables to describe plants. They, yes, ve- you do. No, you don't. Because carrots are roots. Uh, fucking, what is it? Cabbage, lettuce is fucking leaves. The fucking Brussels sprouts are more like the seed pods and shit like that. They are parts of a plant. But they are not in themselves their own fucking thing. They are only a culinary thing. Vegetation. So? Vegetation just means plants at its heart. Okay, okay, but hear me out, hear me out. Uh, you're wrong. You can say I'm wrong all you want, but that doesn't mean you're right. Vegetables are a social construct. No. Yes, because they serve no other pul- purpose. I keep saying, I keep wanting okay, to say okay. purpose. Look, you can call it a social construct. It is a social construct. At, until it's at a certain point. A social construct is something that is agreed upon by most people, not by all people. Vegetables are agreed upon by all people. That's not true. Yes, most, it, no, no, because there are people around the world that don't accept that. You're the kind of person that calls a tomato a vegetable or... Because when you talk about it in culinary terms, it is a vegetable. No. When you talk about it in biology terms, no. it's a fucking fruit. Hey. It's Catch a social function. So I, I so, <laughs> so um I just wanna say the apartment we're currently recording in, things get very loud. I could have sworn I saw I, I heard some kind of like a couple fighting at some point. Um <laughs> So, I just want to say, like, we should be a little bit quieter. I'm sorry, but ketchup is a smoothie? <laughs> ketchup is... No, no, I know, but the first thing that came to my mind was hummus. If you guys... Oh God, this is a weird segue right now. But if you guys know Daniel Thrasher, he's a pianist on YouTube right now, and he has a video out called 13 Micro Songs to Just Jam To. One of them talks about hummus, which is very similar, where he's like, where he asks in the song... What is hummus? Is it a smoothie or is it a bean paste with a dream? And that just makes me die laughing now because that's all I'm thinking about. Um, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure um, hummus is a bagel spread, but um, <laughs> so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the real important. You know, the real important. Thank issues. you. Thank you for keeping let's, us on track. Let's talk about the real important issues of our generation, which is um, what is up with this Kanye West game. And um, it's, it's close indoctrination. That's what it is. So I don't think Kanye West um, has actually personally um, endorsed this game in any way. No, God actually no. Says- uh, hold up. I actually found... Because you still got the website up. Yeah, because this is a... So, Kanye West 3030 is a role-playing video game published on tw- July 22nd, ni- or 2013, for Windows PCs. The game is unlicensed and unauthorized by musical artist Kanye West. Alright, well, so it's a fan game. Yeah, um, I mean... Yeah. You, it's, well, it was on fucking Wikipedia, so... But this yeah. feels... Here's the funny thing about all this. It feels the mo- It feels like it's it's very much Kanye West in nature. As in, it, it really does. It fits his personality. It fits his soul, his I, sense of existence. I agree. I want to see this. Sorry, uh, we got distracted by something real quick. As we were talking about the ketchup as a smoothie and the fucking hummus being a bean paste shit, we just got another. Uh... We got a fan letter. Oh. Hey, um, <laughs> I. We got a fan letter. A vanilla soy milk latte is a three bean soup. Well, I mean, you know, it, it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically. Put it put it in a bowl and then it's a soup. There we go. No, 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 because uh, Chef Boy no, 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 soups no, 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 no. I, I, come in no. a cup sometimes. Okay, they they're marketed to come in a cup, but I still argue that's a drink. No. Yes, no, 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 because I'm going to agree with Lad on this one. The shape of the container... To find what it is. What if it? What if it's not a soup? Cereal is a soup. Cereal is a soup. So okay, um, noodles are they're soup, right? We get we get you get yourself a no, bowl. Noodles are about, used in soup. Yeah, they okay. are an ingredient. Okay, so, you know what? The ramen noodle soup is literally the tiebreaker for this kind of thing. Do so you consider it a soup? I consider it a soup. Some people don't consider it a soup because you have to use a fork. Well, it's both. No, it's, you don't. No, no, God, no. All right, all right noodles. Noodles are. Have you seen me eat ramen? I Have you seen eat... me eat ramen? Yes. I use chopsticks. 
<laughs> I eat ramen okay. with chopsticks. Sorry, like that was in, funny. Like okay. a non-ingrate. Okay, all right. Anyways. Well, anyways, um, Kanye West would never. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye West would never eat ramen noodles with chopsticks. Okay. But anyway. Imagine tourists on a Segway coming into the room. <laughs> we just segwayed back in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. okay. Hi, and welcome back to Files Obscura. We took a potty break and we're a little bit tipsy. Yeah, I'm what, three bottles into the six pack already? I am two plus some mead. Yeah, the little bit of mead that you poured. Yeah, but the mead is 19%. So, okay. Fair enough. Oh, and too. I only weigh 114 pounds. I went up a little bit. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. I'm but. still, no, because I'm 260 right now. So I'm like just, what, two and a half? Have some? <laughs> I would gladly give it to you. But you know, yeah, we did take it. We had to take a little, little break for just a second. But uh, we're back into it. You know, we were talking about Kanye Quest, and, and you know, we're talking about the gameplay mechanics for a minute. But the fun shit has to deal with the Ascensionist cult. Oh my God, that, that's cults in general fascinate me. You know, for a variety of reasons, both personal and just because I like psychology. It's it's weird. Yeah. Because um, this is the first time I've ever seen somebody make a game for this. Like, you know, you have Heaven's Gate that got people into it whenever they would travel across the country and then they would make websites. Uh, like, they would they were their own website developers. That's how they started in the early 90s. You know, you have Jim Jones who, you know, was very was pushing for a lot of social um, justice and civil rights movements back in the 70s and 80s. But I've never seen someone take advantage of the internet like this, you know? Mass marketing a game because nobody's played games more than now. Uh, uh. When you look up the Ascensionism cult... Yeah, the first thing that pops up is Kanye Quest 3030. Jesus. Literally the first thing. It, 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 it's 100% just intrinsically tied to it. You know, and I'm not sure how deep you uh, were able to look in your own time to, to look into the Ascensionist cult and everything, but, like, they got a... As much as they try to be quiet, they've got quite a few online accounts, you know, that they probably used they to adjust people. They have stuff still coming out. They're very... Still? Yes. Look, okay, so I looked up Ascensionism cult, right? And on Reddit, there's Ascensionism Reser Records uh, mm. subreddit. And they're still having stuff about Kanye Quest pop up as like the the soonest one that I can see just from looking at Google pop ups is uh, May twenty seventh of nineteen or two thousand and nineteen. Jesus. So well, it's still happening. Well, the funny thing is, like, well, I mean, that's a year ago at this point. Um. Yeah. But do you remember this came out in twenty thirteen? Memes die in months. Yes, not, but but these not seven <sighs> years. But that's also around the time that Next Fell when Mama Max made their videos, though. January 17th, 2020. Okay, that's... There we go. That's that's what I needed to hear. I, I can't say shit at that point. Um, no, it's just fucking crazy, man. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there, there's other... I mean, like, online cults. There, so, there, there's the very famous story of the Redditor who was in a cult. There's the uh, there's another Redditor who made Riot a cult. Is a cult. Uh, oh, it kind of is. I, I, I would just like to add uh, just a little bit of information. Information? Yep, the... Uh, the game might have been published in 2013, but all this stuff about Ascensionism wasn't discovered in the game until 2015. Oh shit, so it went two years under the radar. See, that's a fact I did not know. Yeah. That would actually make sense to why it's still going on. If it only just got discovered in 2015... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which I think is really funny that it went that long without anybody figuring anything out. I'm not surprised. I'm not. I mean, the internet has grown at such an exponential rate. Plus, in 2013, when did you actually look stuff up that you found on the internet? I'll be honest. You know what I was doing in 2013 on the internet? If I wasn't looking up the fucking latest YouTube trend video, I was probably just sitting there on fucking Pornhub or something. I I, look, I'm open and honest about that. I don't give a shit. Uh, you know? I've never been on Pornhub. I'm I, 22 I, years old, and I have never been on Pornhub. I, I don't know how to... I'm not yeah, sure we can be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Lion ass. What? I but know. Anyways, yeah. No, I've never, uh, I mean, I've watched porn, but not like... All I know. Porn. I'm just saying. It's just a little joke. But no, like in 2013, I was graduating. I was worried about school. I was... 
sitting there going through the fucking, you know, mental crisis of what the fuck am I going to do for the rest of my life? This is where I'm supposed to have the shit figured out. And I did not, of course. You mean where I am right now? It's, I'm still at that point. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, I, I think... Continue, Vlad. <laughs> it's a very elaborate ARG with multiple oh, extremely. layers. Extremely. You go around, like, in your hidden areas, and you, you fill in all this stuff, and... You know, there's a shit ton of QR codes to send you to different websites. Yeah, and like, didn't you also like to, like, at the time, also have to, like, go back and forth between Twitter and the fucking... Well, the funny thing is, I don't think people really found much connections with the Twitter. Like, as in, like, the, the Twitter Those itself... Those clanging noises you hear, Aaron keeps dropping his fucking bottle caps. That's I gotta fidget with something. Time. That's no. the third time you've no, dropped it. No, that's the seventh time. Seventh? Yeah. Well, that's the third audible time. Probably. Because the first time you dropped it right in front of the mic and it went and made like a loud yeah. clanging sound. <laughs> I was going to say something then, but I was like, man, maybe not. <laughs> nah, nah, if you're going to keep dropping it, at least let them know what you're dropping. I'm sorry, Vlad, for derailing your conversation. It's all right. Um, <laughs> we keep doing that. I, I keep looking at you, and you like ha or start mouthing words, and I'm like, shit, I'm talking over you. It's a <laughs> Continue. Um, yeah, no. So, uh, what's going on with this game? Worship the base god. Uh, Ascension of Sun. It, it's, it's, honestly, it, it, it's a mindfuck. It, it's not... It's not easy to try to Why wrap your head around it. Story? Well, so I know the story too. That's the thing. Yeah, but this is Vlad's turn. No, that's yeah, true. it's no, it's true. A, it's a, it's okay. I, I got to be honest. This title itself. Well, it, it, it's hard to really talk about this whole thing without having fucking like months worth of deep research on it well, because that, it, it expands to so many websites, has so much cryptic history that you, you know can't that find. might actually be a really cool extra episode we do later on. Might be, An but... in-depth Kanye quest. Do you, like, but do you know how many episodes or, or topic ideas I have saved for such ideas? That's true, that's I've true. I've got like 30 right now. Hey, 31. Fair enough, I'll give you that. Okay. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, supposedly, uh... I can't remember the name of this guy, but uh, next post is a video on it, and he he, he yeah. probably explains it a lot better. But um, Ascension is some records. There's a dude who makes a bunch of music on Ascension is some records. Uh, it's all really edgy shit, from what I can tell. Uh, but uh, I believe the current running theory is that the guy who and by the way, Ascension is some records is run by one dude and has like one dude's music on it. Um, so it, it's and it is a subreddit now. It's a subreddit too. Um, so, um, I believe this was all made by one guy. This whole, the game... I think so, too. Yeah, the whole thing was probably made one, by one dude. Um, and all the websites... Actually, I think a few of the websites don't exist anymore. Uh, some of the websites that uh, the game linked you to. The original website where the game came from, I also don't believe exists anymore. Um, I believe it was a browser game. And I think it was made in RPG Maker. Something. Like, I, I think it was made in RPG Maker. I mean, but it looks story, RPG Maker. But, what's uh, just a PSA. I know I said earlier KanyeQuest.com does exist. There are multiple of them. I just typed in KanyeQuest into my KanyeQuest.com into my browser. And it pulled up a completely different website than the one that we saw before. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's and, literally uh, like Track Yeezy's presidential bid on Twitter. Like, it's a completely different thing. It shows the Twitter analysis. Well, that, I mean, unfortunately, like, we're also talking about Kanye West. Uh, it's kind of... Right. I said Kanye West. I know, I know, I know. But uh, but in general, the fact that we're talking about a real living person who, yeah. by de by his pure existence, is, you know, so divisive and controversial and just everywhere to begin with, mm -hmm. you know, you can kind of already expect that from the start. Yeah, but I mean, for it to be Kanye Quest and have multiple Yeah, sites, yeah, because you're, you're focused so you specifically on a game. you have to be careful because I did click the link uh, for KanyeQuest.com while we were talking earlier. Mm -hmm. And it pulled up a link to the game itself. Now, if I typed it into my browser, it comes up with a completely different website about his presidential campaign. So, just for you guys to know, a PSA real quick, just to be careful, don't click random links. Yeah, don't be I don't care about viruses. You guys should care about viruses. 
Yeah, to be fair, we're uh, kind of idiots, so... There's also, um, I, I'm sorry, I know I'm... You're good. Well, but... you shouldn't say we, because I don't think Vlad's an idiot. No, I was talking about you and me. Yeah, we're idiots. Well, thank yeah, you we're for, idiots. Thank you for not grouping me <laughs> into your whole little bit of madness. Um, what's it's it's fun oh, over here. It's, it's fun, sure. We have cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Ascensionism. Um, itself, I believe that this game, the reason I don't think it's directly tied to Ascensionism as a cult, because it is separate, you know, the reason I, I believe this is because of how open it is, and how, like, stereotypically cultish the whole thing is, like, the vibe. Yeah, they definitely drink the fresca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm just thinking about the fact that the whole thing is, like... <laughs> It's very... Usually cults try to be subtle about their cultiness. I don't think they do. You don't think so? No. No, I, I mean, at first... No, the, so the nature of cults is to be out there as much as possible. Because yeah, I mean, that's just their... think about uh, what's the as... Scientology. They made commercials on TV for that stuff. But they what... sell pseudoscience kits. But what I'm trying to say here is that even Scientology tries to play it off as normal. Well, uh, of course, they're always going to play it yes, normal. But that's, but that's the thing. They are. But that's the thing. This they know the this, truth. That's the <laughs> thing. Kanye Quest 3030 is very like spooky about it. Like you go into this like weird pyramid room, right? I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna play this game after the episode. Go look into it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna actually play it. And tell us what happens. Record your experience. I will. Let us know. I I have a Twitch stream. So yeah, that's maybe true. you I'll do. Yeah. Just stream it. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I have a Twitch stream. It's called Raven Tide. R A V E N T I D E. That is my gamer tag. That is my name. Uh, I will be streaming this uh, maybe on Sunday. That's Sunday up to night. you. Hold on. What is today? today? Today is Monday. I have to figure out what day is the 5th. The 5th? I believe that's Monday. Okay, so that's next Monday. So this Sunday, I will be streaming Kanye Quest 3030 so on my Raven October time. October the 4th. October 4th. I will be streaming Kanye Quest on my Twitch stream. Make sure you ascend. I will ascend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure out what all this is, because I have to know now. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will say, out of all the subjects that you and I both determined, Vlad, that we're going to talk about... This is definitely the one that was more out of left field than the rest, because my next one doesn't really fucking cover that. Tell, tell me what's going on, man. I mean, it was just really dipping back in, into some shit with Reddit. I mean, long story short, you know, there were, there was always those, uh, like, you'll see things that pop up on Reddit, you know, about, you know, crazy people with weird backstories and shit. You'll find people that have, you know, un there, it's like, um... Uh, you know what I find funny? What's up? You guys, we shouldn't even consider it... Gen Z and Millennial. <laughs> Are you back on this? Are you back on this shit? All right. I'm not no, no, back, let her finish. Let I'm her not finish back on this, all right? You guys are Reddit generation. I am the Tumblr generation. No, no, no. I, I dip into both. No, 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 but, but hear me out, okay. all right? Okay. All right? You guys, even Daniel, he's all about Reddit. He never stops getting on Reddit. I only just yesterday got him to download TikTok so he would stop getting on Reddit 24 <laughs> hours a day, all right? You guys are the Reddit generation. You know well, everything that happened on Reddit in 2012. I've never been on Reddit. Let me tell you this. I've never been on Reddit. I was always on Tumblr. I am actually... Tumblr is my Reddit. I am actually more active on Tumblr than I am on Reddit. So, yeah, but you you act like Gen Z, so... That I, no, 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 no. I don't just act like, like Gen Z. I go through like a weird fluctuation of millennial and Gen Z. It depends on the fucking day. It depends on what you're talking to me about. It does. Twitter, Twitter's my jam. That's where I'm at all. Yeah, I, I, I see you on there more... Th no, no, he's really on Twitter more than anything else. See, I had a... I, in like 2014, there was this online mobile game that I played that made you have a Twitter. Which That's one? the only... I don't know. It was some kind of, like, fashion dress-up game. I used to be super into wanting to be a fashion designer. I wanted to be a fashion designer! My there's parents didn't believe in me, damn so it! So basic. There's, hey, no, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a fashion designer. I didn't say there's see, anything wrong with it. See, I really wanted to be. And so from the time that I was, like, like probably five to until I was 11, I used to draw clothes. I used to sketch outfits, and I was really good at it for a five-year-old, you know? Yeah, yeah. And one day my dad looks at me and he goes, that's not a realistic job. Do you know how hard it is to be a fashion designer? And I gave up. 
bullshit. Never ever do he's, that. He's done that to me for every single big dream I've had. I wanted to be a voice actor. He said, you know how many people get to be voice actors? Zero. Yeah. Well, that's and where you just I, turn around like, and look at him and be like, I you know be how amazing it would be? I want to be an archaeologist. And that's what I still want to do, right? And every time I bring it up to him, he's like, so how are you going to do that? How are you going to get in there? That's so mean. How are you going to, how are you going to beat the odds? Not, like, well, making I, it seem so much harder than it actually is, so I have no dreams for the future. Well, I mean, honestly, obviously, I don't know your dad, but my dad is very much, you know, similar like that, especially because, like, my dad knows, like, I've always wanted to be in production work, whether it be live oh, action, whether it be... We have gotten into family problems Which on is, the I, internet I, I, discussion. I feel like we gotta really, like, separate ourselves from, like, what we're currently talking about. I and feel streamline the conversation back into internet mysteries. <laughs> internet mysteries! We, you Tokyo. know what? We were kind of on topic when we were talking about Twitter and Tumblr and, and Reddit. For a second. For yeah. a second. But then we look, decided look, to talk look, about look, our look, dreams, and, look, our look, dreams look, look, and hopes. And When you add alcohol to the mix, and I know I said that wrong, you get some fucking weird shit. No, I think you said it right. right. Yeah, I appreciate that. I said... When you what? Add, when you yeah. add alcohol to the mix, that is correct. Yeah, but I didn't say alcohol right. I said yeah. alcohol. So I didn't, we're I missed, in Texas. We're in That's Texas. How you alcohol, say alcohol. Alcohol is alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's hype. I'm not from Texas. I'm from Cali. Okay? Bitch. I got a Hispanic mother and an Irish father. I'm from Cali and I was raised in Texas. You live in Texas! Fuck off. You live in Texas, you're a Texan. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I, I know people who disagree with you. They well, will not call me a Texan. They're wrong. I think so. so too. Anyways, let's talk about the internet. Yes. What is the going internet. on? All so, right. the biggest thing that I wanted to cover was kind of another internet mystery. We were talking about Reddit specifically. Yes. One thing I was really like just engrossed in, even to this day, because uh, it, it's not something that's solved, uh, is a Reddit account. Um, not, I don't remember the whole thing, but co colloquially, it's known as Reddit user A585. Now, this is a Reddit user who just, whether you you believe the theory that it's just a computer bot that just posts every day, or it's a user who goes out of his way to post these cryptic texts, he he posts texts that are is in, uh, um, you know, a cryptic code that's used in uh, Base 16, which is the what, what the uh, ASCII code or whatever it is called. Um, and most of them to this day haven't been solved. Some of them ha have been more like whenever you solve them turn into art pieces. Like one of the famous ones was uh, a reply he, he gave out to a uh, commenter who called uh, Reddit user A585, uh, uh, the Stonehenge of Reddit. He created this ASCII art of Stonehenge on the account. Yeah. But we don't have any confirmation what the hell this account does. We don't know what it's Can I just for. mention that all of the links to this guy won't load? Yeah, well, this is also very old. It's not something that happened like last year or two years ago. Like, subreddits have been made about this account and deleted about this account. Like, it's gone through a lot. But we don't have a, a consensus of, of what these codes are because we haven't even cracked the majority of them. We don't know what they are, we don't know what the code is, and we don't know what the purpose of this is. We don't know who is behind this, we don't know what their goal is, we don't even know if they're literally just generating random code just to fuck with us. How did you find this guy? I'm on the internet a lot lately. No, 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 no. hold up. If you look up Reddit user 8585. A585. A585. Yeah, and that, that's just the, the first four parts of his username. His username is like 16 to 24 characters long or something like that. Wow. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Like that. A585. Yes. And, you know, there, I see things about people talking about solving it, asking if he's still active. Because, okay, again, this was the thing that, that really spurred in like 2013, 2014, I think. Um, it, it was definitely a mystery before my time on the internet because I only recently got really into the like a lot of internet. The one I'm seeing is 2012. <sighs> Damn. Then yeah, that was long before that time. Yeah, it's. But no, I mean it's still one of those things that to this day we truly don't know what the fuck happened with this account. We don't know about the user. We don't know the purpose of this. We don't know. I think if you want to find information about it, you have to put solving underscore. A585 
No, no, even then, we still, like, you can still find the subreddits and other uh, forums that are talking about this, but they don't right, have but an answer. Right, but if you want to find it... If you, if, yeah, if you like, want to find where... If you're going to look up information about this, yes. you have to put solving underscore A585. Yes, yes. And that's it, it, A is an Archie... Eight five eight five. I'm mean, interesting. You go with Archie. I don't know. I couldn't remember the fucking military one for the Alpha. Letter. Okay, well, whatever. I have... Sorry, you said Archie, and the first thing I thought. I'm was... drinking. Fair so enough. This, so this guy is mysterious, and he lifts a. Lift. We don't fucking know. I mean, this dude had like thousands of posts. He would post every single day, not every week, oh, not every month. Archived posts. I wouldn't doubt it. There's a lot of archived posts. But like, he would post like every single day, just. Just hexadecimal code, and nobody knew how to solve it because we don't know what the code is. R slash solving underscore A585. Remember, I'm still watching. What? Thank you, I'm terrified. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. That was literally a Reddit post that I just saw. <laughs> now I'm scared. I'm not looking anything else but, up. But, for those, but, like, if. A585 was, like, the thing that really, like, threw me into, like, the whole internet mystery, ARG kind of part of the internet. I love just, I love not knowing about things. It, it's weird. I love the, the, the questions, like, like, what does this mean? Is this related to something? Is there something more I'm missing? I guess that like, explains why you started this obscure podcast. Fuck yourself. He um, just flipped me off with... Both hands. I flip everyone off with both hands at least, so you're welcome. I usually go with one hand. Uh, yeah, well, I'm Most lazy. Most people aren't worth the effort. Yes, but you're my twin, so. Hands. Well, the single, the single flick off, I feel it's a lot more casual. And like, See, I prefer the French one. Oh. Oh, there's also the. Yeah. yeah. The well, if you for the audio listeners, basically just fucking. Put your fists, both fists, up. And then hit your elbow on one side with your other fist. Left hand makes an L shape. Right hand hits the elbow. It's intense and it feels strong it's powerful. and profound. It is a you know it's much more energy. than ooh, this is my unused finger. <laughs> Either way though, but but yeah, like like this. You know, this, like I said, this is the, the internet mystery that got me into, like, looking to other unsolved shit of the internet. Because, uh, I'll be honest, I, I've been open about this since day one. I am not computer literate. I am a fucking moron when it comes to I anything. can attest to that. Yes, I am a fucking idiot. Uh. <laughs> but there's something just about not knowing these mysteries that... What, what's up? What a, they're at home. Uh... What happened? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, but no, it, it, like I said, they're, they're just mysteries that got me like really into a, a whole, like just plethora of fucking stories about all kinds of shit, you know? Like there, there's stuff about different Reddit users, stuff that uh, people in a cult, people just fucking losing their minds on camera, you know, weird live streams that nobody can explain, you know, fucking YouTube accounts that post the same video for fucking three years in a row every single day. You know what I think is fantastic you know? about these nerd mysteries? It's What's that? the simple fact that, like, unlike most mysteries, we, unlike most mysteries, we don't have a face. We don't have, like, that much information about a lot. I mean, sometimes we do. Sometimes we've got a face, if we're lucky. But most of the time, a lot of these people are completely anonymous. They go by a weird... Well, that's mystery. the nature of the internet. I know, and that's know? what's fantastic about it, because that's an extra layer of mystery. At the same time, um, you don't know what's real and what's not on the internet. And somebody could very easily go on Reddit and be like, hey guys, I just killed someone. You know, did they? Did they not? We don't know. Well, Maybe I mean, they're looking for attention. Maybe, Maybe. they're trying that's to seek confession. That's why we all have our FBI daddies. The ones that look after us. You mean the NSA? It doesn't matter which one. That's fair. You know, they're the, all our daddies. The internet meme they're is all the our FBI daddies. daddies. All right. I, See, yeah, you're right. Okay, We're... every once in a while, my laptop camera will just turn on and I say hi to it. So. Aaron, I'm the asshole that still puts yeah, the tape over Aaron it. Aaron would kill me. But no, if we're in the same room and you just randomly say hi to the camera, I'm fucking throwing that laptop out the window. I'm looking, I'm like locking you in my closet and be like, no, I gotta lock this shit down now. 
I don't care. I don't. I do. I mean, I have, I have my internet persona, which is, of course, Raven Tide, as I mentioned before. But that is because I have two stalker ex-boyfriends. One of them recently contacted me again. Ooh, because that's not uncomfortable at all. Right? It's super uncomfortable. He was just, like, messaged me on Facebook one day. It was like, hey, I was thinking about you. And it turns out all I had to do was type in your name and... Google and I found you because I was that's like, not Jesus uncomfortable. Christ! It's like that doesn't make things any better. I want to leave you like even more. And now. that's actually, honest to God, the only reason that I started so late in this podcast because yeah, Aaron, it, of course, had asked me to do it months ago, and I said I wanted to be known as Raven Type so that my creepy ex boyfriends could not track me through this podcast. I would say at the time that was not your explanation. You're right. So at I the time when he asked me, all I said was that I didn't want to be known by Gabs. I wanted to be known by my by Raven Tide. By but Raven I, Tide. I, but the problem was if I let you do it, I gotta let everyone do it. And unfortunately, exactly. the nature of the internet, you got some dumb fucking usernames. And I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just not gonna say it. <laughs> all right. I'm not gonna say say XXX Sniper Wolf XXX. I'm not gonna fucking do that shit. You can go fuck yourself. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it was a it was an all or nothing kind of deal, and that that's you know why it took so long. But yeah. you know, we talked about it. We went through you know, you know and communications about. You know, it. we decided that we'd use my nickname that he calls yeah. me normally rather than my actual name, anyways. Yeah. So, so I mean, honestly, it ain't nothing major. You know, your your gaps. That's what I've pretty much always called you since day one. Yeah. You know, and that's that's fine. You know, uh, that's why we let CC go by CC, Vlad by Vlad. You know, I still use my my actual name on this. Uh, because I don't really expect anybody to reach out to me like, Hey, Sushi, how you doing? Because who on the internet is going to fucking think that that's my actual name? Yeah, for those of you listening, Sushi is my last name. It's truly, legitimately my name. Except it's per- it's spelled totally different, like... Okay, yes, it's a Czech last name. Most people would call him Sucky. You Sucky. can suck that's these what little I call fingers. Him. Yes, and Literally, it pisses so me I off. I met him by reading his resume to the job, to the place that I was working at, which was... At the mall, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so we saw his resume, and we were like, who is Sucky? He says he's worked here before. And me and Kelsey, that I mentioned earlier, we were back and forth trying to figure out how to say his name, right? We were like, do we pronounce him Suchi or Sucky or, like, I don't Sucky. know what language this is. So we decided on Sucky and called him and called him Sucky. And he was like, it's Sushi, actually? I cannot tell you. We I still dying. remember that call. We were dying in the back room. Mm-hmm. Look, I get this all the time. I really do. And at this point, I've accepted it. It was like, people are just going to like naturally just say, suck your sushi. I understand that. Because that's how it's spelled. But, I mean, I've had I've also had assholes who still call me that after I've corrected them. That's where I'm like, you're a motherfucker at that See, point. See, I just call you Aaron, because... You don't like to go through the fucking problems. But yeah. here's, the, here's the thing. I know like 30 errands in my personal life. So when I talk to all the other people who know pretty much all of us, it's like, which fucking errand are you talking about? That's why I started going by my last name. Because you're not going to meet another sushi. Unquestionably. It's not going to happen. So, you know, you got 29 errands and sushi, it's going to be a lot easier to single me out. You know? Plus, weren't you in like ROTC? Yes. So you're uh, used and to being called your last name. No, but here's the thing. My ROTC uh, teacher, Sergeant Major, I'm not going to say his last name, he refused to let me get both my last names on my fucking nameplate. He only let me go by Wilson. What? Yeah. And there was a bunch of other Hispanics that had both last names on theirs, but I was not allowed to have mine. Why? Don't fucking know, but I guarantee you it's because he didn't want to fucking scream out Lieutenant, you know, Second Lieutenant Sushi. You know? See, I'm lucky being a Hispanic... A Chilean who's Hispanic with it. Don't use last names at all. Yeah, lucky you. Like, my grandpa, when he moved to the States, they don't have middle names. It doesn't exist in Chile. It doesn't exist. There's no middle names. Hmm. So when he came to the United States, they were like, what's your middle name? He used his maiden name. He used his mom's, his mom's well, last name. He doesn't, you know, understand. So now we have American last names because... Well, not, not because he didn't understand. Oh, because, oh, okay. My bad. Because he chose to have a middle name rather than two last names. Yeah. Oh. Which is interesting, because uh, in, in terms of last names, I'm the only sibling that willingly chooses to use both my last names. My right. brothers don't. 
you, like, uh, I'm not about to say his, his when name. When I was in first grade, I used to write my mom's maiden name <laughs> and my dad's last name just to seem cool. Both of my brothers only use their dad's last name because I'm from a blended family. If you guys don't know, I have a lot of siblings. Only one of them's fully blood related. But a lot of my siblings, they don't use their secondary last names. They only use their, their father's last name. I'm the only one that uses both. See, because that's the American way to do it. Like, I had a friend in high school who's mom like got divorced and then she never got remarried until she yeah. was in high school and uh so she used her mom's last name she yeah. didn't keep her her new dad's last name that's just the american way to do it unfortunately it unfortunately, leads to a lot of confusion it just... does especially with like shit i'm pretty sure the reason why i have social security issues is because of that yeah, yeah. that's true it's because I have, my family's yeah, got weird names i think it's yeah. i think it's funny that um i was filling out some paperwork for work because there was a, a small issue i don't know um and in the in the files right you type it down you know how sometimes it has, has a little asterisk or something and it's like this is important you have mm -hmm. to fill this out yeah first name important last name important middle name Important. Optional. Sometimes. No, no, it's important. It's oh, important. did it? Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's optional. And that's what. Most of the time it's important. And I have two middle names and it won't let me hyphen them. Mm. I don't is, have a. Is I, your, are your middle names hyphens? Yes, my middle name is Effie hyphen Marie. It's funny I've thing known is. for over a year and I've never known that. Funny, funny thing is, I don't have a middle name, so I, I have two last names. Yeah, I, I'm like you. I have two last names, but I also that have a middle name. My you know? I just. Which, Sorry, we've been talking for a while about something, and I and I'm and I keep. Look, this is the episode where we don't give a shit, man. Yeah, we're celebrating. Should, uh, we care. should we continue on to the next topic? Or I mean, yes, but I like where we're going right now. Okay. Uh... I mean, this is actually an obscure fact. I mean, about, we're, we're like about last names and middle names. Well, like... this is also the episode where you know people are probably gonna get to know us a little better, so I don't really care. All know? right, all right. Just making sure. But, but, I mean, like, overall, like, uh... You know what's a really weird, ex obscure fact about names? Que pasa? Did you know that almost 80% of women, once they're married, find themselves in fraud? Fraud really? charges? Because, because of the, the change of last yes, name. Yes, because they change... If you... If you are a woman, and you get married, and you take your man's last name, you will most likely have to go to the IRS, the Social Security offices... Possibly the FBI because you will be called for ch fraud charges because you have changed your last name and the system will not register it for years. That's broken. Right? Because well, it, it's, it's such broken. a common thing. People change their last because names all the time. People change their names all the time. Like, especially right now, people are changing their names just for, for transgender purposes. Exactly. For, for body identification purposes, for who they feel like they are, people change their names all the time. Yeah. And if you go through that process, you will almost always get caught with fraud charges because you are not using the name that is assigned to well, you. Well, we also have a government that's not very for forgiving about shit like that. You know, I mean, hell, we still have a government that tries to mandate what women need for, for their biological needs with periods and shit. Like, like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Yeah. I mean. There, I like, like, I can't even imagine how no. hard that must be. Considering Did you know that... there's a whole thing called a pink tax? Yes. You know, where they have a higher tax about all, like, yes. pretty much all feminine products. Razor it blades. Razor blades. For women. For women. Not men's razor blades. For women are taxed higher. Yes. Mm. Same thing with tampons, deodorant, shampoo. Period. Like, any can... pads or tampons, they are taxed higher. Can I just add right here? Women's products, things that are marketed directly to, to women, are basically the same items that men are using. M women's razors are not that different from men's razors. They're not razors. different at all. They're not. They're In basically fact, the same they're thing. Worse. By the way, have you guys ever been to HEB or like Target or Kroger or something and seen a product called Dude Wipes? No. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's usually, they usually have a small pack of it. It's not a lot. But... Go to like the toilet paper section where they would have all the, all the, all the sock wipes. These I are, have seen those. Yes. And they, it's the funniest shit ever because it's, they're just regular wipes. Yeah. They're baby wipes in they're, the different packages. They're baby wipes in a different pack. The package is all black and bold blue letters. Really like the most like manly like. Early. And because they have a gender assigned to them, they cost more. So to all the women out there, buy dude wipes. Yeah, it's pretty it'll much. cost you less. Pretty much. <laughs> they will cost you less just than Just buy baby wipes, it'll cost yeah, you less. Yeah, just buy baby wipes. Like, literally, there are so many things that are marketed towards women that you can buy the genderless option, and it's better. I still and think it's, it's funny that they're called dude wipes. 
Oh, it's pretty well, funny. I don't see if I can it, just, it makes me laugh. Because the second you said dude wipes, I know it's, it's not the same product, but the first thing that popped in mind was the fucking Dr. Swanch commercials for the fucking men's bo- uh, natural yes. body soaps. That fucking commercial is the best. I don't care what anybody says. No, that's how you... No, no, no. No, because that's the Old fucking... Old Spice commercials I, are I, pretty good. I fucking... I'm not a fan of, of Old Spice. Holy See, shit. See, I don't like Old Spice smell. That, yeah, that reminds me of those, those fucking... Uh, God, what what's it called? Those fucking Kotex fucking... Kotex? Or the fucking... Uh, are you talking about Kotex guys, tampons? Yes. That, guys, that's what that reminds me this, of. This explains it. Shark, I just, shark Tank. I fucking would just like like to do a little thing here. Uh, Aaron just said Kotax. Kotax, whatever. Fuck All off. you women can yell at him for saying fuck Kotax. Off. Look, I am four beers in at this point. You can fuck off. <laughs> so uh, you're going to give me so much unnecessary hate. <laughs> Nobody's going to hate on your videos. So we Look, can, Women we can, can laugh at you without hating on you. No, but <laughs> no, but we're going to get the fucking the fucking simps that are going to come in and be like, why the fuck are you being an asshole to all these women? It's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Nobody's going to think you're an asshole for saying Kotex. It's just funny. No, but people will just think I'm an asshole to begin with. No, people will just think you're a man. Fair enough. I'll give Look, you that. if I went to Daniel and I said, buy the lemon lime tampons, he would ask me lemon or lime because they're... <laughs> Our fucking colors on tampons Mm -hmm. that are yellow and white. The yellow are usually regular and the green are fucking, I said yellow and white. Yellow Yellow and green. green. The color on tampons are usually start out with pink, yellow, green, and then I think it's light blue. That's for sizes. Yeah. You could tell my boyfriend to buy lemon lime tampons and he'd probably go look for them. And I don't like it's not See, hate. You, now, it's just said, normal. Look, if you said lemon lime, you know what comes to mind? I'm just think, it's like wait, lemon lime flavored tampons or scented <laughs> flavored? <laughs> flavored. <laughs> I'm hey, sorry. Hey, if we're gonna go into flavored stuff, you guys can taste things with your balls. That is look, true. Yes, there we go. True. You can taste go. orange flavors, citrus flavors, and soy sauce. What's that thing? Put a little soy sauce on it. And... I've never experienced this. Daniel I don't said, want to experience this. I tried to get this. Daniel to try it. Did he do it? He didn't do it. If you can get him to do it, please he get him on camera. He wouldn't do it. He won't do it. I don't care. I don't I'm care. not going to get don't him on do camera. It on camera. No, no. Yes, because I'm totally going to want to show your boyfriend's balls all over the fucking internet. No, but I want his genuine reaction. That's what if I want. If he listens to this episode, he's going to kill me. What are you talking about? It's my podcast. He'll kill me. Okay, I can, I can see um, the look you're giving me. You're fair. You're fair about that one. Oh uh, god. You, you guys, you guys ever hear of a, of a website called <laughs> Mortis.com? <laughs> so today's episode is sponsored by Mortis.com. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Before before we get too far with that joke, obviously not. But all right, all right. <laughs> I know. I know. We're talking about a lot of shit right now. But uh, yes, it's time to move on. I think it is time to move on. This will be our final topic. Um, so I, I figured it'd be a good place to end it. Um, wow, what did I, let me just... Aaron just spilled my drink all over himself. I actually didn't spill shit. You spilled it on your I don't lap. know what you're, you're talking about. You're dripping on the floor. What are you talking about? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I literally didn't feel any of that. I just poured all of that to your fucking bottle. <laughs> I watched you pour it into your lap. I genuinely didn't feel it. Mm. I did not feel any of that. Okay, also to clarify, it's not like I fucking made a goddamn puddle under me. It was like fucking five drops. Ten drops. Da, 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 da. Well, yeah. Um, alright, so let's, uh, while Aaron's cleaning, I guess. It's all over the bottle. It's cleaned. I guess while Aaron is, It's uh, cleaned. We're good. After, well... We're clean. Anyways, um, uh, so like any good internet mystery, this one started off on 4chan. Um, Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Anyways, Mortis.com. Um, so some dude on 4chan found a website called Mortis.com, and it basically consists of a white screen with a little like I think it's like a like a username password kind of situation where you got to type in something, right? Nobody can figure this out. Nobody knows what the username or the password. Concentrate, relax. 
Sorry, I'm, I'm giving... sorry. I'm dying laughing We're over trying here trying to, to be meditate. quiet. We're attempting to meditate. I'm, I'm just trying to finish the episode here. <laughs> Vlad's the only one that's got this shit oh, down. Oh god. Uh, yeah. No. Sorry. I would <laughs> anyway. just like you to know that this is what me and Aaron hanging out is usually like. It's usually just laughing, not being able to it, speak, it, look, and then it, laughing more like, because you remembered what was. It's said like ninety percent laughter, ten percent actual genuine conversation. That's mostly filled with us filling our face with hey, water. Hey, you forgot about the one person that's actually making the joke. Fair enough, but how long does it take to get there? Uh, Anyways, we were talking about Mortis.com. A website discovered by a 4chan user known as Mortis.com. That's my notes. Um, <clears throat> um, which consisted of a lock screen. And um, so the lock screen, you know, like... Basically blank. Nobody can figure out what what the password is, right? Well, yeah, well, wasn't it for the longest time people didn't even know what the fuck it was until they I don't think I don't think anybody still knows what the well, password well, is. Well, what, no, no, they found they definitely found passwords. Oh yeah, no, because well, they found because that's how they found multiple um, oh, other connected sites like that, which was uh, stuff like uh, God. What, what, well, what actually, no, no. The way they figured out what the other sites were, and I feel like we're getting a little ahead, uh, is. All, all website domains have, like, a name attached to them. If you want to, like, get a website, you have to put your name down, right? So people basically connected Mortis.com and a bunch of other websites online to a guy called Thomas Ling. And uh, that's the dude who created the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't he the, uh, the dentist behind all that and all the other sites that well, he we'll act- get into? Well, actually, the web... Uh, okay, so let, let me get into... Let me, let me start off mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. basics. Uh, why Mortis.com is so weird. Um, here's the weirdest thing about it. It's got terabytes of da- data behind it. It is it's filled, filled with data that nobody could really find. Nobody figured it out. Nobody, nobody like, it's like, why is there so much data on this little website? And why is it behind, why is it behind a, um, you guys are clean. All right. Uh, <laughs> Aaron's filled with strength. God damn it, I was trying to be quiet about it. <laughs> Anyways, um, the, uh, it, there's there's terabytes of data behind here, and um, apparently people found connections between Thomas Ling and a bunch of other websites online. Some of the websites being Cthulhu.net, which oh, I forgot about Cthulhu.net. That's, so, so that's how I got introduced. So let me tell you a little bit about Cthulhu.net. Um, the person who originally posted about it uh, said that there was a black night piece on the website, or is it a white night piece? I can't tell. No, it was a black night piece because, that, that, like I said, this is how I got introduced to this whole. Mortis.com thing is I, I um, there was a bunch of forum threads at the time whenever this yeah. was first breaking out really early internet yeah. stuff. Well, the the the, the, the bit that's a little confusing about this is that some people said there was a black knight piece, but instead just the words "dead but dreaming," which I believe is directly quoted from uh, what's it the uh, what's the original? It was one of uh, Lovecraft's pieces. It was uh, well, well. I obviously I, I can't say for the whole existence of this website, but when I was on it, it was a black chess piece, and this was back when I was still in high school and stuff. Okay, so at the moment, yeah, I was about to say this is probably the oldest one we talked oh, about. No. So oh no, oh yeah, and we, we like there, there's older ones like it's I can still bring it up. up. I see stuff from 2007, which is by far earlier than anything. Else oh yeah, like, like the so wasn't it like the domain name was so, like picked up in the 90s. So or so let me actually give you out some dates. The uh, Mortis.com was actually created in 1997. Um, and then some of the other websites, um, Exercio was 1998, Eternal Night was 2005, 1998 for uh, dental fill-ins, and Cthulhu.net is 2004. Yeah. And all these websites were created by the same dude, mm-hmm. Thomas Link. Um, there's also a bunch of other websites. Uh, what were the other ones? Um, just before we go on. Every time you say that, I hear Thomas Lang. It's actually Thomas Ling. Uh, oh, L- sorry. Ling, 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 Ling. Ling, Ling. Yeah. L-I-N-G. Sorry. L-I-N-G. Yes. yes. Just so I, if ever, anybody else has bad ears like I do, I have one uh, hearing impaired ear. It's Thomas Ling. L-I-N-G. Ling. Not L-I-N-G. Not L-A-G. L-E-G. Ling. Ling. Ling, Ling, Ling. Ling, yeah, Ling, well, Ling, Ling, Ling. Long story short, American, American, uh, pff, American, American, Asian, American dentist, if it helps you understand. And yeah. it's, we don't even know if that's actually his name. It's just a, what well, we found. Actually, no, no, that's, no, no, that's his name. name. That's no, 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 no. No, no. no, no. They, no, they no. found the actual so, person. So there's more evidence as to why that's his actual name. So um, he also had some websites for his like wife and children mm-hmm. created. And their last names were also Ling. Mm-hmm. So, um, and apparently his wife has like a, it was a quilts, quilts, a quilt website, something. She makes quilts. 
Um, um, and was it quilts or was it? Uh, I think it was quilts. But like not even that. Like there were textiles, people, textiles. Yeah, just just general clothing and cloth to sell. But yep. uh, not even just that. Like there are people who were able to find his physical work address and his home address when the shit was like first picking up, like early early two thousands internet. Like they were able to find this dude. That's how we know who the fuck he is. It's not yeah. just some online identity. He really was an American dentist. But because of some of the facts we're about to get into about these websites, well, we I, don't know what else he was in. Actually. Well, he might have been a dentist, but the website Dental Fill-Ins, um, what it actually did is that it helped um, dental assistants find fill-in positions yeah. so they could actually get a job. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, like, that's honestly, out of all the websites, this is the least strangest one. It's basically just a website to help people get jobs. Like, it's not that weird. Um, a- a- anyways, um, some of the other websites, Super Mysterious, Kifulu.net, what the heck was that? Nobody knows. Um, and it really, like... So, uh, the current theory running around as to what um, the Mortis.com website is, and it's very anti-climatic if this is the case. Yeah. Uh, basically, it... it Are you think, saying what I'm thinking? Where? Right here. Uh, what, what, CMD? For the audience right now, they are looking through one of uh, the web links that uh, Gabby just picked okay. up on. Okay, that's actually that, very, that's actually that very interesting. That's actually very interesting. But what I was gonna say is similar. Um, just a bunch of uh, torrents for um, movies. Basically, just you can just download a bunch of shit yeah. on of movies. That's why there were terabytes of data because it was all movies. Mm-hmm. Like that would it was, like you, an it, it was an early, early it was an early black market site to illegally download movies. Yeah. you know before we have all these other torrent sites like Pirate Bay being the most popular one that we know about today. Yeah, that constantly comes in and Which out of existence. Actually, makes a lot of sense. Because it, it explains why there was so much data being taken up. It's easily marketable, this art, too. This Easy. article that I just showed you was from 2020. It was this yeah. year. Yeah. I would also not put it out of the question that he might have changed the password from time to time to keep people from, like, figuring yeah, it, it out. Yeah, it's like an well, insider's-only it, Netflix. Yeah. It wasn't even just that. Like, there were periods where I believe he had let the, the accounts just, like, not be active for, like, years. And to prove that he was the one who created the website... Uh, I believe there were some people who asked him about it. So how, how do we know that you created it? I think he changed the color of the background of the website very quickly and then changed it back to normal so they could know. So we know it's we know it's Thomas. Well, Lee. it's not even that. Uh, they were able to, like, there are other users who were able to track, like, who paid for the site and be able That's to pinpoint all that information. Location. All that information is pretty public. Yeah, too. yeah. All that information is public, man. Extremely public. And we know, by the way, we know Dental Fillings was a legitimate, like, business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like... This guy was real. This guy's completely real. His family's real. All that is completely real. Um, and Mortis.com, I guess, just got really popular because, I mean, it is weird. Let's be honest. Like, if Do not Google Thomas Ling. Do not, do not look him up. If you're looking for information on this obscure fact, please do not Google his name. Google Mortis.com. Okay, Thank so you. explain why. Uh... There are multiple Thomas Lings in the world. It is a very common name. Also, porn. Thank you. This is welcome to my TED talk. Please do not <laughs> do not look up Thomas Ling. There we go. Don't, don't look up Thomas. I do it on Google Incognito. God damn it! This is gonna be on my on my search history. You're welcome. Anyways, Mortis.com. Uh, I think I actually kind of gave you guys the most amount of information on this. 1997. I mean, so this is very early. I mean, instance. a lot of it is just pure speculation because we just don't know that much. It is very mysterious. We know who created it. We we have a lot of speculation on what it might have been. Um, and we know the other websites connected to it. Most of them aren't that interesting. Let's completely let's be completely honest. Yeah, some of them. Well, because like some of them, you know, they if they have passwords on them, we've never found them. Some of if them don't have, have anything on them. Exactly. If they have chat logs that are secret, like if you look at like uh, another uh, online mystery, which is the Lake City Quiet Pills, uh, which is another website, you know, that had a bunch of uh, uh, embedded secretive uh, text put into the code of the website, you know, for people to communicate and shit like that. Like, 
who's to say that information isn't out there? We just haven't found the code that would show us that stuff. I mean, it could be. It also could not be. It could be stuff that they had planned for and then wound up not having a use for later on. I also, don't know. Also, Mortis.com does not exist anymore. Yeah, not yeah anymore, it is no. no longer a thing that exists on the internet. Yeah, but, but imagine trying to fucking buy that web domain now. Yeah, it's. I think what's really funny though is I, I think there aren't really any websites of what it looked like. Uh, no pictures of what it looked like either. No, 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 I found a picture. No, there, there's tons of pictures. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm just clicking on some stuff. Um, yeah, no, it is very strange. It's very, very weird, but most likely nothing too big. Not probably not going to be. Is that it? Is that what it looked like? Yeah. This mm, is on Yes. Alright. Yes, that is what it looked like. It okay. It's a two-tone. It's very creepy looking. Very, uh... What is the, the a good word for that font? It's oh. gothic. Yeah. No, no, gothic's not the right word. I would say... Probably a mix between World of Warcraft and gothic. If you want to get something a little more accurate. Yeah. Just red text, but uh, in between that. And if you look up images of it, you'll probably find it. It's black and red. It's not... Uh, but anyways, most of the pictures that come up when you Google images of it is very... Uh, very just black and red image imagery. Mostly... Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking through some Google photos right now. And just everything. basic Google image search. It's yeah. the third image that pops up for me right now. Again, Google changes. All Google, the time. And also per individual based on what you search. Yeah, you know, based stuff on like what that. you search. But I mean, I mean, long story short, uh, I mean, it changed a couple times, but for the most part, it the, says the basic... Mortis and then reborn and then the hours, days, minutes, and seconds. I mean, yeah, because days, cause, hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, for the most part, from what I remember, um, it changed every so often but for the most part the layout basically was the same where it had the background image and then it had a text prompt and that was it yeah um mortis.com was not something i was personally involved in whenever it was super big but it was one of those mysteries that i really did trying to get into later what on i just saw it wasn't big until the 20 tabs no, no, no. Like, that, people didn't really, really notice it until a decade later. No, well, it's not that people didn't notice it. It's that people weren't making popular videos about you're it right, at the you're time. You're right, you're right. There wasn't a main because, social media because, until because, about 27, because kind 2007. Because kind of going back to our Luca Magnata video or uh, episode, um, that's where I really learned that there, there, there is a forum for everything. And, and especially for this. There are people who dedicate their lives to the most obscure things online, and, and honestly, it, it's always a rabbit hole going. There is a fucking forum for a vacuum cleaner. Are you kidding me? Like, it, it, like, that, like that's just kind of the the extent of what I'm saying is like it, it, it's crazy to see what people will, will de you know devote their times to, and, and for anybody, you know, curiosity is pretty much the bane of human existence because it's, it's both what progresses our, our scientific. Curiosity descent. killed the cat, and satisfaction brought it back. You're so. damn right. But I mean, ultimately, it, it's mostly just circled around the idea of that. Um, that uh, fuck, I've been drinking so much at this point, I kind of lost my train of thought. But long story short, just being like curiosity is always going to be a driving force between people looking into shit like this. They're always this is always going to be the thing that inspires people to want to look deeper, ask more questions, reach out to people, see what the fuck's up because we don't know. You know, Mortis.com. As much as we do know, there's so much infinitely more that we don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, along with some of the other mysteries, and especially to the last one that we're going to be covering, you know, which is a, my personal favorite, Cicada 3301. Uh, which is a, you know, if you don't know for some reason, where the fuck have you been? Because the K-3301 is... I've never heard of that. No fucking way. Really? I've no never... fucking way. Okay. Like I said, I wasn't really introduced properly to the internet until probably 2014, 2015 when I was a senior in high school because my parents were very strict. Yeah, that makes sense. So I've never heard of that. Okay. Well, to kind of give the TLDR right now, there was a... What does that mean? TLDR? Too, too long, too long to, read. to read? Yeah, TLDR. See, because I keep reading posts that are like, TLDR, and I'm like, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. TLDR means too long, didn't read. 
Okay. So it's like the synapse of a fucking See, story. See, I figured it was just that. Yeah, yeah. But... But I never, like, looked into the acronym that deeply. And I'm so sorry, you guys. I know that we're slurring our words. Because I can hear it with Aaron. Oh, and I definitely. I can hear it with Val. Definitely. Black. Black. And I can hear it in myself. Uh, I don't know why you're apologizing. This is probably the most entertaining episode for most people. you said Morris.com. Did, did I say Morris? You said Morris. Holy and I want to just make sure. I know I've done this, like, three, four times in the last 20, 30 minutes. It's mortis, M-O-R-T-I-S. Yes, the Latin word for death. Yeah. Mortis. Just so. to make sure that if you guys are going and looking up this stuff after we're done, you have the proper letters. I know we're slurring, and I'm sorry. Okay. I knew you would get along with me. I knew it. I just, I freaking knew it. As soon as I met you, I was like, wow. He already pressed record. Doesn't matter. I can edit this part out. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> So, for those of you who don't uh, kind of follow the context of the fact that we keep jumping a lot, we have to we go through breaks. Break. We have to, because Anchor only allows us to record an hour at a time, so we've been going through little breaks, taking little potty breaks, getting some food, talking, yada, yada, yada. If you can't tell at this point, the fucking alcohol has hit me, and... Um, has hit us. Because mm. if I was not drunk... I would not have started. Darling, I, I was about like to that. Fall. I probably started an hour-long conversation just now. I don't... Hold up. It's it's 5.30. Didn't we start an recording at... An hour and a half. Three? I made an hour and a half. No, we started recording at 2.30. No, we didn't. 2.45. Yes. We started recording at 2.45. I made an hour and a half long tangent conversation with Vlad's girlfriend, right? Yes, yeah, right, yeah. Uh, we became friends, anyways. Big plus for me. But, yes, it's been an hour and a half since the last part of this <laughs> podcast. So I'm sorry, it's my fault, 100%. Uh, both of the guys were like, we need to get back to the podcast, and I was like, friendship! No, friendship I, is magic! I knew you two would get along really well, I just knew it. I, I like, as soon as I met you, I was like, oh my god. They're, they're gonna get along if they meet each other. I'm just well, there's also when I was drinking. Well, there's also context. I've almost drank twice as much as you at this point. You totally did. Um, okay, but also, but also hear me out, all right? I know that last year, at this time of the year, I could have drank you under a table. Yes, you could have. But I haven't drank in almost a year. It has been nine months since I started dating Daniel, and he is curved me off from my alcoholic lifestyle. But you also know I don't drink much to begin with. My my tolerance is lower is all I'm saying. My yes. tolerance has gone yes. all the way down. So, even though you have had four drinks, did you just open up the fifth? <laughs> did you just open up your fifth? I saw him do it too. I should have said something. You should have said something. I have to take you home, asshole. Anyways, Aaron is on his fifth ring. <laughs> I have had two angry orchards, but with some mead mixed into it. With the mead mixed into it, the mead is actually pretty good. This is my fifth bottle of Voodoo Ranger. Yes, I just said that, honey. Okay. So and I think in Vlad comparison, has had two angry orchards. Two angry orchards. Which so really, in comparison, Vlad had the least of all of us. Yeah. And he is the only one still trying to keep us on track. So let us let him talk. And tell us what we're doing next, because I... So, I mean, we're I still covering we're, fucking uh, so Cicada. cicada. Yeah. I mean, that whole fucking nest. I mean, is it still going? I don't fucking know, because at this point, they're only talking... It is talking still going, because I found posts from 2020. Yes, you, you'll find posts just still going on, but the most... But, I mean, they're, they've done years with it where they've only gone to talk about, you know, or, or they've only continued conversation with certain... God, fucking, fucking drunk. Where they've only had... It's all speculation is what Aaron is trying to say. No, 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 no. It's not all speculation. No, actually, it's not at all what I was saying. Like, in in 2014 especially, there was a year where they only reached out to long-standing people who have been involved in the puzzle-solving process in the community. They didn't... Ooh, excuse me. They didn't make the puzzles that they have public. They only let it... um, be solved by by members who were there for the past two years solving the previous iterations of puzzles. So what the stance is now, I have no fucking clue. But in the long term, you know, it's really just a bunch of people who are, uh, 
looking to, to, to solve these puzzles that people make for whatever, you know, topic or whatever fucking goal that they have, I have no idea. You'll find all these people online who, who say, that, like, they solved Cicada 3301, the first puzzle, the second puzzle, even the third puzzle. And they'll tell you that they're there to solve all these, you know, private anonymous business measures. But in the long haul, you know, we don't actually know. We only have these people's words on it. And it's a whole fucking thing, you know, where, you know, people don't really know what the fuck's going on, but people are trying to fucking dictate what the hell is going on. Give me my fucking beer. I don't care at this point. Give me my beer. Drink water! Give me my beer! Drink water! Give me my beer! Water! Fuck, I'm uh, falling out of this chair. I'm falling out of this chair. How about this, Aaron? If you get through a bottle of... If you get through... Aaron, if you get through a bottle of water, we'll give you your beer back. Yes. Drink the bottle of water. Just give me my beer. No. Don't chug it, you're gonna Don't throw up. Don't chug it. Oh Just my God. drink it. Okay, no, we need to hide the risk. <laughs> There's only one left in my beer. So, long story short, with Cicada 3301, it, it's... We don't know exactly what the puzzle was meant for, but there was a bunch of people who claimed to solve the puzzle and claimed that whenever they were introduced to this private email server or whatever the fuck it was they were given prompts to create w different website domains different bank accounts different all kinds of shit to make to, to for the uh, idea of an anonymous server that people could use online uh, a, a way that people can communicate without uh, the fear of, of, you know, government agencies, fucking online uh, groups or, or even cults or whatever have you, you know, be able to copy and follow their information, their, their messages, their, their anything that they do online to track it. You know, this would be a, a private way to, to, to stay anonymous. And there, there's, you know... Uh, crap, I'm trying to remember the, the email server that I uh, researched for this a long time ago, for me personally, um, that was partially involved. What's up? Hey, hear me out. What's up? Hey, 